I think I'm live. Am I live now? Can people hear me third time? Now I hear myself back in an echo in my own ear. Uh, but if you can hear me, I'll just deal with it. I, oh, now it's there. Here you go. No, it's still there, but I'll just deal with it. Oh, God, this is going to be the most confusing night of my life. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Gather. Welcome to Planet Scum Live. Sorry about the technical difficulties. God fucking forbid I do something in my life that's not completely ravaged by technical difficulties. I want to be clear. Every time I speak, I hear echoes, endless echoes of what I'm saying in my ear, but we'll just go with it. I can see my guests who haven't joined us yet laughing at me in the, in the Zoom. Planet's gone. Thank you guys so much. This is the third time we're doing it. It's been so fun. If you join us for the first time, what we do is we hang out here and we do bits and we take phone calls and that's it. And it's been such a good time. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting it and calling in. If you want to make a call tonight, it's going to be a real fun one. Topic tonight. Me and Bobby Moynan discuss our favorite sea level Star Wars characters while Lennon Parham quietly judges us. These are two of my oldest comedy friends. I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. You can see I'm feeling giddy. I get to hang out with my old buddies. Now, if you want to call in, it's very simple. Join our Discord. The link should be up on your screen right now. I know it sounds complicated. What's a Discord? That's how I was when I first heard about it. It's actually very, very relaxed, very easy. There's mods in there right now. They can walk you through it. It'll take like three clicks and you'll be able to make a phone call. Call into the show. Also, if you like what we've been doing with this project, this Friday night, this stream is going to be overtaken by Nick Nanny, Mary Houlihan. They're doing a live reading of a soprano script they wrote. It is not a, a, from the Sopranos canon. David Chase had nothing to do with it. They wrote it. Live reading. It's going to be really funny. Don't miss it. Okay, Bryson, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to introduce our uh, guest. Is there any way for me to not hear myself looped back in my ear. I, I I will I will try it out. I will try it out. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I I should apologize. This is all on my end, and you can drag me for it. Yeah, Bryson said that I should. If you didn't hear him, and only I could hear him, he said it was his fault, not my fault. <laughs> now, but I want to be clear. It, it, if you're hearing it fine in the Twitch chat, go ahead and just pound zero zero p nine zero zero p nine to let me know you're hearing it correctly. All right, they hear it correctly. Let's go ahead and introduce our guests. Hope that they hear it correctly too. Uh, first up, I mentioned we'll be taking calls tonight. He and I have been friends for close to two decades now. And uh, one of the very first things we bonded about was both of us had an OCD level knowledge of Star Wars. Bobby Moynihan, welcome to Planet Scum. Hello. Now, Bobby, do you hear yourself back in your own headphones? Always. No, I don't hear I don't hear myself. I'm I'm all good. Zero zero P nine. Okay. I that's what it was. Also hear you twice in my headphones. This is a hilarious, oh, no uh, hilarious and stupid. That's insane. Thing that's, that's, insane. that's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's oh, insane. Now why are you doing that? Let's uh let's go ahead and introduce our other guest tonight, another one of my oldest comedy friends. Again, decade plus almost to a friendship, someone who we all came up right around the same time. We worked together on so many things. This is someone who I have true love in my heart for, much as I do for Bobby. She's also someone who has put my ass in check over and over and again throughout the entire course of our friendship. Lennon Parham, welcome to the show. How do you do, friend? Now, Lennon, how do you feel about Star Wars? Because I know Bobby and I love it with our whole hearts. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> now, have you, have you seen all of them? I think I've seen, no, I don't think I've seen all of them. I think I've seen some of them. Now, Lennon, I did want to ask you, the three of us back in the day would yeah, sometimes yeah. wind up on Torco shows together, which the UCB meant we would travel, be in vans together, airport terminals together, a lot mm -hmm. of sitting around. I always felt like there were situations where Bobby and I would get going talking about stuff and it would annoy the rest of people, the rest of the people in the van, true or false? Yeah. True. Uh, I don't have a specific memory of that. I've, it's wiped clean somehow. Uh, mm -hmm. To me, it's like comfort. It's like cold comfort. If that makes sense. It does. It's it does. It totally kind, does. I'm sure. I feel like for sure expect. you were you were annoying to Eli. Yes. Like yes. for sure he was playing like a rockabilly version of oldies and. Uh, turning it up really loud so he so yes. so he couldn't hear your combo. 
Absolutely. And then, of well, course, there was the infamous Moom incident, which we will not speak of publicly. Oh, that was a. Wait, a great, what was uh, that? <laughs> we can't. We'll tell you offline. For real, we will tell you offline. I, I mean, I could tell you. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> um, a buddy of ours got into a fight with a man on a ferry, and that man put his. Put his uh, lo- very, very long story short, that man put his chin on our friend's face in order to intimidate him but he was so drunk all he could come up with was the word moom he just went mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah he and touched eli's chin with his fist and went moom yeah he said a number of other things that we cannot <laughs> repeat, <laughs> cannot ever, repeat. Ever. you're never allowed to repeat them again now oh, man. bobby what we're doing tonight is we're taking calls from all these kids who hang out in our discord they're very nice people they're going to bring like, up their favorite sea level Star Wars characters, and then we're just going to go nuts. And then, Lennon, mm-hmm. you get to tell us how you're feeling about our I'll behavior. Jump in. Lennon, I'll jump what, in. what's your favorite Star Wars character? Well, you and I, oh, yeah. The Tauntaun. Nice. Good answer. The Good answer. Tauntaun. So just very surprised. Sacrifice. Very surprised. Sacrifice. Pure sacrifice. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a vehicle, it's a meal, it's a home. Yeah, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. That's and that's exactly how the line was delivered. Yes, it was. It was. Now, does this include? <laughs> is this combo going to include like the Mandalorian, or does it only? I include- mean, yes, it has yeah. to. It yeah, was it probably it must. We we tested Lennon, just so you know, it will probably also include the Clone Wars and Knights of that's the Old a- Republic and okay, uh, Those you are know animated. Sure. Uh, sh- sh- sure. Some are video games. Some are books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very mm-hmm. vast mm-hmm. universe. Okay. Now, Bobby, do you want to tell people what pops up when I call you? I, I mean, I, I prop since it came out, since the day it came out, uh, the picture that comes up on my phone when you call me is uh, uh, Rhoda the Hut, Jabba the Hut's son. Well, he, he's also known as Stinky the Hut. <laughs> he's a little baby hut. Mm-hmm. Because we um, in either our late 20s or early 30s did go and see that movie in the theater just yeah. you and me yeah which movie is he in stinky star wars stinky uh star wars the clone wars <laughs> yeah stinky the first the film stinky the what's, hut okay what's also, the last real movie that Rota. came out in the theater the rise uh, rise of skywalker which okay. i liked better than last jedi but everybody gets mad at me when i say that last jedi's the one I think I just watched it. It just came on Disney Plus. Ryan Johnson's Last Jedi. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he was the guy who directed it. Um it's it's the guy, it's the one where <laughs> Did Princess Leia do anything cool in space? Princess Leia? Uh yeah, did she do anything? She General almost Leia, died. She almost died and then Yeah, that's Last Jedi. And then Luke yeah. Luke died. Spoiler alert. Spo- spoiler alert, yeah. That's so Bobby, Last Jedi. So there's another one after that that I need to catch up on. Yeah, called The Rise of Skywalker. Got it. Okay. Now, Bobby, yeah. you and I were having what I would say was a pretty embarrassing text exchange about an hour ago. Not embarrassing. Uh, to, to, I mean, <laughs> depends on who you're talking to, I guess. The basic premise was what constitutes specifically a C-level Star Wars character. We're it's not talking about very, the tonight. It's a very fine line. Is a Tauntaun a B? Tauntaun, Tauntaun is full B, full B, I believe. Really? You don't think a Tauntaun is a C? No, full B. No, if I full know B. its name, if I know the name, exactly. it's gotta be a B or above. Exactly. exactly. I had some guy on Instagram in the comments saying that Wedge Antilles was a C level. I'm like, that's no, solid low, that's low level sol- A. Ooh, low level A. Yeah, I was gonna I would say B plus. B plus. B plus A minus, yeah. Yeah. So who are the A's? I mean, the A's we know. I don't, Luke, and this Leia, does be, this Vader. does not mean quality. No. These grades, these are not quality grades. These are, if the levels, if the level of knownness in the universe. If they make a clout, lasting impact. Yeah, if well, not, not even lasting impact. You can make lasting impact and have absolutely nothing to do, I think. So let's, let's run through some characters. You tell me what level you think they're at. Like IG-88. B. Agreed. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, B. Is that the is that, is that the <laughs> one in the Mandalorian? 
That's IG eleven. That but similar. They look exactly alike. Uh, you can only, you can't tell. That's the one that say that sacrificed himself. That he's yeah. an android. Yeah, Taika Waititi like does guy. the See, voice. I'm not. Oh right, 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 right. You're right. actually doing great. I'm really thanks, surprised. guys. Salacious Crumb, B or C. Ooh, mm. I might. I'm gonna say B. My heart A. Here was my dividing line, my exact dividing line. Max Rebo, B. Sai Snoodles and Droopy McCool, cool, oh. solid C. Solid, <laughs> solid C. C's. Solid C. <laughs> Max Rebo, low level B. <laughs> Droopy McCool, Sai Snoodles. Droopy McCool might even be D, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sai though. Sai steals her scene. <laughs> well, I'll even say original Sai Snoodles B. <laughs> Second size. There were wow. multiple size. Well, was... there's 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 pre CGI. There's 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 oh. pre pre re release. They redid it. They made it more like a. Yeah, she went, went from, from like a, puppet, a gritty. She went from a puppet to a CGI. Like was she, wait, is she the one that that they called to ask like who who to get to break into the <laughs> casino? No, that's Maz Kanata. <laughs> Where does Maz Kanata lie? Because only from the most recent trilogy, oh, but I found it very I mean, compelling and cool. Who's Those allowed to add to this? She's, like, if you're a filmmaker- a character who fell to B, if sorry. If you're a filmmaker, you're making a new, are you allowed to create new, like, characters? Like, where do the characters come from? Are they, <laughs> or can I just like, can I be like, hey, Boz, Boz Taniskins is gonna be in the next movie. That's, that's a fantastic Star Wars name. Thank you. That is not a bad name. Do you know Dennis McNicholas? <laughs> no, is that Dennis a McNicholas? Yes, he's a he's a writer for he was a writer for SNL. He's very funny. Okay, he's, yes, great. He said the funniest joke I've ever heard in my life. He said the most human, the most funny Star Wars name of human is uh, Maeve Leno. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real Jay one. Leno's Jay Leno's wife. Oh, he said that it's a Star Wars name. It's he calls her Ma- said. It, Dave Leno is the best Star Wars name in history. I think that's a funny joke. No, I want to cop this up. And Bobby, you <laughs> me. when we first met, I had actual encyclopedic recall of the original trilogy. I want to just say I'm not as up on the prequels or the most recent trilogy, and even the old one, not as good as I used to be. Yeah. Jersey Dave we're, is on hand. So home. as people bring up characters, Jersey Dave will be able to bring up images, descriptions as reminders yeah. for right. all of so I know there's people out there who are going to stump us. Yes, you're going to stump us. Keep trying. It's fine. It's not about that. It's about, it's about celebrating. So I think we're getting an idea of C-level characters. I feel like people might bring up some characters I, on the calls. We're going to have to I tell them. Up, yeah, I brought up to you Muftak on uh, during you, our text message, and you didn't. I don't think you know who that was. I looked it up though, and I knew who it was. He's he yeah. drinks a drink in the cantina, right? He's the big fluffy white yeah. guy who looks like he's doing cocaine with that tiny little straw nose. Dave, let's bring up Muff Tech. I believe it's got two Fs. Can we bring up Muff Tech, please? I want to see Lennon's reaction to Muff Tech. And uh, mm. Bobby, you claimed Muff Tech was a, a B, I believe, or no, a C. You guys... I say, uh, yeah, I say C. Question. You said C. Stinky the Hut was a B. Muff Tech was a C. No, I did now not they... say Stinky the Hut. I said he was a C. Oh, There's yeah. Muff Tech. Lennon, how do you I feel about Muff Tech? See, that's what I, I remember mean, this the, oh, guy. Yeah. This guy haunted my dreams. It's like a Yeti yeah. meets an arachnid. Yeah, yes. It's not good. So, Lennon, you had a question. Question is, do you guys go back and find, like scour the cast list to figure out the names of these guys? Because it's not like, I mean, we're looking around the cantina, right? It's not like anybody's saying, hey, there's Muff Tech, Streestroy, <laughs> Boz Gaskin. Yeah. You know? What's your, what's your favorite <laughs> TV show? My, my. Uh, the Americans. <laughs> I don't know. Like a great show. Well, like just like how you watch it, and you know all the minor characters from that. Like there are some. Like, but I don't. There are yeah. some people that that like that's what Star Wars is for. The people who want these vast universes. Right, right. Can go people, but to you the don't minutia. know like every single like for instance the minutia. No, I don't know. I, I I'm 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 half joking now too, and I look up a lot of stuff. But like I I know, but I do know a, a, some stuff. But there are people who know it all. Yeah. Right. But they're just named in the context of the film. You would have to go back and research that to find out what the name of this thing was. Yeah, you would and have to do And if it's the name of dive. the species or if Muff Tech is, a, <laughs> is 
is his given name or if it's well, like this is what a muff tech is so here's another thing you know is they I mean? reverse engineered <laughs> yes us. so Leonard famously George Lucas <laughs> took less money as a director and said give me the merchandising rights this was because yeah. Star Wars was the thing that made like movie related mm. toys a thing so right. he's made billions of dollars off of, of licensing and merchandising so this asshole had to put a name on everything so every kid would buy every toy so you'd be like, oh, mom, I, the only one I don't have is Muff Tack from the can cantina. So everything had a name. You could do it. And then what happened mm. is like people would go and make books called Tales from the Most Likely Cantina where there'd be a chapter where you learn all about Muff Tack. We learn all about fucking wow. uh, so, Dr. So for, Ezevan and Pon de Baba, you know? Yeah. For yeah. instance, Lennon, there's a character named Major Bren Deslin. And the only reason he exists is because John Ratzenberger from yes. Cheers yeah. Yeah. was an was an extra in Empire Strikes Back. And and he's There's got one, one line. line. He's got yeah. one line in the movie. He's got a little brown mustache. They made a figure of him, but like his character in the books, they have like books about his character. But like he's got one line in the movie. But he and the never reason... exists in any other no. movie. Well, he, he might be like now that now they connect everything and put it like in the animated series and stuff. So they're just trying to squeeze money out of toys. That's why the Ewoks exist because George Lucas wanted to sell teddy bears. Legit. I thought it is that true? I thought it was because they they cut the budget and it was supposed to be Wookiees, but they cut the budget in half for the costumes, uh, so they could only make half the costume. But wait, hold on. <laughs> You're know. saying they needed to make little people size costumes for budgetary. It was, it was originally Wookies, and then they they and then they they cut it down literally. So the the budget for Return of the Jedi after the first two should have earned them an unlimited budget. The budget came down to we can't have really tall people the guy, suits. We need little person suits. The That's guy, what's pushing the guy, us over. The guy won't. The guy came into the meeting. He stood at the end of the table like Neil Casey at at, at a at a TGI Fridays and he put his hands <laughs> on the table and he said, guys, we got to cut these costumes in half. No. <laughs> and that's what happened. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. You just cut the middle out of a costume. It's not going to save you a lot of fluff. It you know saves what I mean? you the whole like... budget. That's how they got the Death Star. They paid for the whole Death Star with that shit. Okay, we're going to no, go to the I have phones, no I idea if that's real or not. Let's go to the phones. People bring up their favorite C-level Star Wars characters. Bobby and I will go ape shit. Lennon will quietly judge us. Let's go. What you, First up, what's Bobby drinking. Yeah, is that? No, oh, Bob, you've been to uh, you've that? been to the Disney World Park, right? It's, it's blue. It's just Gatorade. Oh. Have I been to the Disney Park? Yeah. Yeah. You probably went. Did you get to go before it opened or something like that? I did. I got. I got to go ah, before. I got awesome. to walk it before it opened, and then I I got to go a couple times before mm. it. Uh, uh, I I got to go a couple times. Yeah. Did you get to go on the new ride? I went in Orlando. I yeah, bought a ticket amazing. like an asshole. I did the Millennium Falcon, which was great, but I was a fucking engineer. That's cool. Whatever. You got to be in it. It was fine. My dude, my two pilots were both seven or eight year old girls. It was like, oh, let's well, focus up. Let's just focus up. A let's bit. let's be positive, guys. I'm trying. I didn't get to go on the <laughs> other one because I wasn't about to line up at four in the morning. Okay, let's go to Sam. Sam is a caller. He calls in quite often. Very nice guy. He's from Australia. He often sounds sad. Sam, how are you feeling tonight? Yeah, all right. How are you? I'm good. We got Bobby and Lennon here. They're both great, and they're both rooting for you, Sam. Yeah, I think you sound great. Awesome. Um, I don't know if this is C-list enough, but I'm a big fan of HK47. HK47. Dave, can we call up HK47? Bobby, are you familiar off the top of your head? I know I know the thing, but I, I'm being very honest. I can't picture the... It, is it the... Is it the... HK47. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh. Yeah. I like it. I like, I like that guy. Wait, what did he do? Bob, do you know... I don't know what he did. I'm exposing the fact that I don't know as much. That's animated series? That's Clone Wars? Uh, Dave, no, let's Kotor, call up the description. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Mm. Knights, Knights of the Old Republic. Republic. Is that a video game? Say. This is a deep cut. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic originally was a comic book, I think, on uh, Dark mm. Horse Comics. What do you, Sam, what do you like about him? Yeah, what do you like about HK, Sam? Uh, I can't remember exactly why the character in the game recruits him, but he ends up uh, revealing that 
he's some sort of evil assassin droid and just keeps referring to people as meatbags and asking if she, he should destroy them. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta love okay. you gotta love an assassin droid. I really like the bad C three PO, the is it is zero nine it's like nine 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 or something. <laughs> Seriously, do you know what I'm talking about? I do not. I do not. It's doc look up Dr. <laughs> Afra. Look up Dr. Afra. Oh, Dr. Afra is really droid. Yeah, there he is. Oh, zero Afra's... triple zeros. Triple People zero. are That's... psyched on Dr. Afra. Dr. Afra is a comic book thing, right? Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. It's a great storyline. And this triple zero, this bad C3PO droid is dope. Look, some woman's about to fuck him. That's good. Am now, I where, do you, to say that? where do you put triple zero on the is that C? Is that D? Uh, movie. Wow, I, haven't, I don't know. I haven't you thought know about what? comic and think... video game only characters. I feel like you can't be A or B if you've only been in a comic book or video game. You can't. It might be. It might be like an up and coming B. An up and coming B. I think. Yeah, I'll say it. All right, now Sam. I know everybody's isolated right now. You're. You're. Oh no, wait. Sam's off the line. Never mind. Let's go to uh, Dinosaur Laser Farm. Dinosaur Laser yeah. Farm. Welcome yeah, to the let's show. Do that. Let's talk about sea level, um, sea level Star Wars characters. Where are we at? Dinosaur Laser Farm. You just need to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself and talk to us, Dinosaur Laser Farm. Mm. Okay, we're gonna move on. Let's go to. Uh, oh, that's a shame. That was a good. Let's name. go to Dot. Somebody has Dot with an exclamation point. Oh wait, wait, wait! Dinos wait. Dinosaur I'm Laser here. Farm There's is dinosaur. here. There's Dinosaur Laser Farm. Dinosaur Laser oh, Farm. Oh, thank hey. goodness. Wait. Okay. Yeah, talk to us. Hey, um, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is a little <laughs> awkward. The uh, echo thing. Um, but uh, I I just uh, found out about uh, Rosario Dawson being Ahsoka Tano in the second yeah. season of The Mandalorian. It's yeah. not officially confirmed yet, though, right? I saw it going around on the social. Yeah, I don't. I think she yeah, said I, recently uh, I that it's not it officially and, uh, confirmed. You know, weekly confirmed, but it's just a that, rumor. That would be perfect casting, though, right? Oh yeah. Now that's a solid B character. That's like a B plus, maybe an A oh, to a lot of people. A, 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 a? definitely A. Yeah, even definitely though only in the cartoons. I think not to you, Chris Gethard, but I think to the Star Wars universe, A character, definitely. Uh, to be fair, those cartoons are really, really popular, and I have to oh, yeah. through and watch them. I've only watched them sparingly. Lennon, this is a young female Jedi who is yeah. uh, cool and has cool face paint. I'm all for that. Yeah, the girls, yeah, yeah. Rosario. I like, there were some awesome. kick-ass characters in the Mandalorian for in the live-action one, which I did watch. But this is something that hasn't existed yet, right? This it's only be... existed as a cartoon. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know. I thought it was brand new. Lennon. No, it's it's in the cartoons. The Mandalorian was legitimately one of the greatest experiences of my life. <laughs> Don't say that. It okay. was. Pretty Why? cool. I want you to think about it just a little bit before you say that. But it was I, really... I, I, I agree. I think it was great. <laughs> for, for Gathered or for you? Both. It was really good. We texted about it. What did you like? I think it was just a beautiful, well done series, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. I think I think it's one of the best outings mm -hmm. of Star Wars ever, including the movies. Absolutely. And and you know, let's be honest. Hmm. Starting with Return of the Jedi, every movie has some flaws. The prequels, some major ones that have been talked about, the, the right. new series. The directors might as well have gotten in a fist fight in the parking lot, the way they kept going back and forth on each other's ideas. Things to love about all of them. Mandalorian's the first thing since The Empire Strikes Back where everybody can go undebatably good and exactly what we want Star Wars to be. You think that's because they got out of his way, let him do what he wanted to do? I think John, I think John Favreau and Dave Filoni are super big fans. And I think that they were lucky enough to get the resources to just make what they wanted to make. And they did. And it was great. And they, they had Nick Nolte playing respect. a weirdo. Nick Nolte played a weirdo. Nick, no, oh, yeah, he isn't. Yeah, great. But he plays like one of the most noble but he was characters badass. ever. Yeah. Yeah. Ugna. Horatio was amazing. He Eugene was great. Cordero. I was like, that's fucking Horatio. I know. Within 30 seconds, I was immediately taken out of it. I was like, that's fucking Rosh. Sudeikis so really took me out of it, for real. Yeah, when I, I thought they were great. 
Uh, it's so hard to do comedy in that Star Wars world, and Horatio fucking nailed it. He was amazing. Nailed it. Now, Bobby, Bobby, I've been meaning- are you going to be in it? Oh, Bert, too. Uh, I hope someday. You got to be. You got to be. Mean, I'm in a couple Star Wars things. I have Star. I have Star Wars action figures. I have them right here. And they are you? Are they you who you play? This is yeah. This is me. <laughs> That's so cute. His name's Orca. <laughs> and this is me. His name's Yanni. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm. I'm. In, I'm interested. And I played a stormtrooper. Beautiful. Bobby, where do you rank Greedo? B or A? Oh, I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to say B. I'm going to say B just because I'm going to say B because of the controversy. (laughs) I'm going to go ahead and ask a very divisive question that I think a lot of people have in their minds. You love to do that. Who ranks higher, the Jawas or the Ugnaughts? Jawas. Can I see a photo, please, for evidence? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and see the Jawa. You will probably recognize the Jawas more than you recognize the Ugnaughts. To be yes. Fair. To be fair. Which one? And also, who's Greedo? Hey, if you can hear us again, if you can hear us again, go ahead and pound uh, exclamation, exclamation, Z4. Let's go ahead and just pound out exclamation exclamation z4 if you can hear us all right you guys can hear us again dot what was your favorite sea level star wars character all right i want to talk about my boy admiral firmus p8 admiral p8 yeah he's uh he's one of the guys who vader kills right uh no he is a guy is in the, the background survives? yeah he's the guy who survived He's the guy who survived. Yeah, I like that guy. I think he might be a definitive C-level character. Uh, Bobby, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think I think I agree. An ambitious Imperial officer, P-8, rose through the ranks to captain and was assigned to the Super Star Destroyer Executor, Darth Vader's flagship. He chafed at having to serve under the foolish, vainglorious Admiral Ozzel. When Vader strangled Ozzel, P-8 was granted a battlefield promotion to Admiral. He survived his time as Vader's underling, but died when the uh, ship's command bridge was destroyed. I like that guy. He's one of them English actors who they just said, just play a kind of wormy creep. Just put on this olive suit and play a wormy (laughs) creep. What about, uh, where do you put Figger and Dan in the modal loads? Oh, great question. I mean, oh. You know? Listen, beloved, but a C. Yeah, I agree. Beloved. There's nothing wrong with being a C in the Star Wars universe. Nothing. One more time for that name. (laughs) Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. The Modal Nodes, yeah. They play jizz music. (laughs) They play jizz music. (laughs) (laughs) You may know it as... Somebody had to put a red flag on that. Mm, I guess... I think... I think it was jizz before. Wasn't a th- yeah, jizz was, was jizz. I think it was before jizz was pre, jizz. pre pre. They funny thought jizz. it's so funny. Just change one letter. <laughs> well, that's Either a that. lot of Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars names are like just words said wrong. I feel like. I believe they're actually known as jizz whalers, and I believe Correct. it's. I believe somebody just went. It's like jazz, but it's space, so we'll call it jizz, and they'll yeah, know it's yeah. jazz. And didn't think that we all thought, no, if you say jizz, we don't Later. think jazz. But they can't, they, you know, they were good at a lot of things, but not foretelling what would be an urban dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely not. Let's go to, uh, you know what, up next, Dot, thank you so much. That was a great one. Let's go to a harp guy. So just so you got know, Len and Bobby, this guy, harp like, guy, he one time we did an episode on public access where Joel Rumrell and Rachel Peter most, and he, we just found him. He played harp in the background, and now he's like a cult figure in the community. Everybody loves harp guy. Harp Love guy, it. what's up? How you doing? Who's your favorite uh-huh. C-level Star Wars character? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like very, I'm, very uh, well. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so as we all know that uh, now the Star Wars holiday, 
the Star Wars holiday special is now uh, canon because it's mentioned, Life Day is mentioned in the very first episode of The Mandalorian. Yeah, by Horatio. So, yeah, it's like one of the first lines. So, yeah, says, um, yeah, so I'm going to go with, um, I have a couple. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Or should, Okay, I've got um, uh, Chewbacca's horny dad, Itchy, who just <laughs> yeah. watches, uh, he, he kind of masturbates lumpy. the whole time. <laughs> lumpy, yeah. B. Arthur, um, my favorite. B. B. Arthur, Agamina. we have. She's but uh, we have Agamina. <laughs> we have Harvey Corman's uh, four-armed chef Gormanda. Now these are D. <laughs> these are D's and E's. These are D. Okay. Well, how about uh? Well, uh, how about well? Technically, Jefferson Starship, I guess, is a Star Wars yeah. band yeah. now because they're. So, yeah. Sheena, so I'm. So is Sheena Easton, I believe. <laughs> So I, I'm, I'm going to go with Jefferson Starship is my C-level Star Wars character. Now, Lennon, are you familiar with the infamous Star Wars holiday special? Negative. It's the best. Uh, it's the best. In 19, I believe, 78, like right after the movie, they just very quickly rushed a holiday special into okay. production. And it's super, super bizarre. And at one point, Jefferson Starship plays a song. At one point... Uh, at one point, Art Carney goes to a virtual prostitute who is Sheena Easton. It's it's bonkers. The, the first, first twenty, the first, first like about 20, twenty minutes, minutes of it is, is all, all in Wookie. Yeah, the first With twenty subtitles? minutes. Is, so no it, subtitles. It, it revolves around this holiday called Life Day, which is kind of like Christmas for Wookies. Yeah, and um, it's, it's Chewbacca's family, including his son uh, Lumpy, Lumpy, right? Lubaka, Lumpy. And the first 20 minutes is just people in those outfits. It's very low budget. It's just I'm going like, ah, blah, 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 for 20 minutes. <laughs> and uh, Carrie, Carrie Fisher appears and she is so fucked up on drugs that it's oh, an extreme, no. it's an extreme close-up, like this close, because supposedly crew members were holding her up for her section. And George Lucas is so ashamed of it, he's tried to find and destroy every copy he can, and yet it survives. Now, now they're embracing it a little bit. Now they're embracing it more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was the one who really hated it, right? Yeah. Um, mm. Mary, Bizarre. were there songs? Were there like songs yes. from uh, it? it was, you yes, would, throughout it's the actually, whole thing. I would actually say it's structured like something you would love. It's structured. It's, yeah. like it, is, it is a Lennon Parham one woman show. It, yeah, 100%. I would love to see it. I would love this. This I would love to see. I mean, you would make a screaming. great Akmina the bartender. You would make it was B. Is that Arthur. B. Arthur. Yeah, it's yeah. literally like Wookie screaming, and then B. Arthur does a <laughs> tune, and then it cuts to an old man in a VR helmet jerking off. Yeah, uh, not, they don't show it. But you that's don't show what he's it. Doing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they don't show it, but that's what he's doing. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Now, Mary from Cleveland, who's one of the, the big time uh, people who, who supports this whole project says, I don't know if I should be, Bobby, you're gonna lose your fucking mind. Mary just said, I don't know if I should be proud or upset that my uncle did the sound editing on those special edition jizz songs. Bobby, your response. That's the coolest. That's actually super dope. Do you know Eli Newell? I do. You guys know Eli Newell? His uh, his his girlfriend's dad worked uh, edited the movie. Ooh, yeah, she was an editor go. on it. Just a Let's side note. Go. There you go. We're gonna go back to the phones. I'm very shocked to see an old friendly uh, old friendly name. He was the talent booker for the Chris Gethard show. Patrick old Kotner, welcome to the show. Yay! What's up? Can you hear me? We yeah. can hear you, Patrick. Hello. Oh my gosh, this has been insane. You guys have some crazy <laughs> rankings. How so? What? Pia is not a C. Who? Piat. Please tell me he got cut off. He called him Piat, oh, but it was P8. That's C. how the other guy called him a P8. He is He's not a C. a C. What is he? The the only Imperial, he is the only Imperial officer to be in two movies. He's a B. He barely says a fucking word, dude. Disagree. I don't know Disagree. if he's a B. Man, I, I see what you're saying, but he's proto. Oh, oh, okay, but like I consider Tarkin a B. I, really? Tarkin? You don't consider Tarkin a B? This is gonna make headlines. What you just said. That is. That's <laughs> versus divisive. what? Versus, versus an A. Here's versus what I'll say. Listen. Think about Which how one many is Tarkin? characters. Tarkin's Tarkin, like the Tarkin, guy who played by. It's Peter like you Fishing. got the. 
you got the emperor you got yeah. darth vader yeah. their roles are totally defined and make sense and then in the first movie you got tarkin and he was he's just like the real there. serious british dude with the pointy face who who just always stood behind vader and went like yeah, all right. So. <laughs> I'm mm. shocked you would say he's a B and not an A. You put Stinky the Hut as a B and Tarkin's I did not. in the same you class. You keep saying this. I keep, I, he's a solid C. Stinky the Hut is a solid C. Where is my It's a solid C. It's in your phone. I'm not even worried about this. I wrote not a B. Not a B. He's a full C. Oh, yeah. Tarkin is up there for me because I know yeah. him. Yeah, he's a B. He's a B. Tarkin's a B. Yeah, but what is Panda Baba? What's Panda Baba? Panda Baba. Panda Baba B. Solid B. Low B. I say okay. low B. What do you, you say? say low B. B. I say I say up and coming solid B. But I would Panda say Dr. Evans on solid B. Solid Panda B. Baba. Both of them are solid Bs. What do you Panda mean? Baba, they're like Evazon does all the talking. They're the Panda Baba. They're, they're the they're the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern <laughs> of the Star Wars universe. No, I think we would, all three of us, Bobby, Patrick, I think we'd all describe Pond to Baba the same way. He's the guy who has a butt hey. for a mouth. <laughs> a butt for a mouth. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Wow, he does. He has a butt for a well, mouth. Well, figuring yeah. Dan has a butt for a face. Okay. <laughs> Patrick, what else are you pissed off about? Because it sounds like we really uh, got your fucking goat on this one. No, I mean, that was the big, that was the big one. That was the big one. I was screaming at my computer. I get that. Fine. <laughs> um, I'm going it. a little crazy. It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, okay. <laughs> C-list, though. Team Topagales? Team Topagales. Walk me through this. How do you spell that? Yeah. T-E-E-M-T-O space oh, P-A-P-A-L-I-E-S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Without having to yeah, look I, up. I just I, oh, he, I recognize this guy. He's one of the pod racers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, I mean, we could. If you want to get into pod racers, we we this is a whole other hour. He's he's got. He's a pod are, we talking, are we talking Dud Bolt over here? What's happening? He's a Vecnoid pod racer pilot from the planet M Munis Mandel. I should have known that. I should have known that. That's my bad, Patrick. That's my bad. He's from the planet Munis Mandel. I mean, this is he oh, might be our first official E classification. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> if he's an e, even say anything. If he's an e, then the other one I was going to suggest is going to be like a G. Who's this? <laughs> uh, Weoslea, W I O S L E A. Weoslea. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. I just got a picture of Curtis Sliwa comes up on my computer. That's <laughs> it. the leader of the Guardian Angels. Weoslea was a female <laughs> Vuvrian who was a terrestrial vehicle <laughs> sales merchant. <laughs> She, like many of her species, she had a large head, dual tentacles. Uh, she bought Luke Skywalker's X-34 land speeder in Mos Eisley. She's the one who bought the land speeder. She's the current owner, last known owner of the land speeder. This is, yeah. this is an F-level character. This is yeah, that's... Character. Bobby, everyone in the chat is mad Great. at you. They're all saying Tarkin is an A. Everyone watching this is saying Tarkin is an A. I think Tarkin's an A, too. People okay, are also I'll, I'll take that. I'll totally take that. Now, but Lennon, that, Stephen then that, Tremel then in the that chat. Puts, yeah. Go for it, Bob. I, I, if Tark, yeah, okay. No, I, I totally get that. I totally get that. But I put him, I put him in the A's over with Lando at the Lando table of but the A's. That's, that's fair. He's at the kitty table. Lennon, a guy named Stephen Premel in the chat says, ha, 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 Lennon has visibly checked out. I was yes. Googling P.O. Slenon or whatever the fuck <laughs> I keep saying. I don't know how to spell any of this and I'm trying to keep accurate, but the, the Vuvlion, <laughs> the woman who sold her pod or whatever bought Luke's bought the land speeder. pod racer. I don't Different people. give a fuck, but I, you know what? I was looking it up and I found her and I didn't recognize her. Her name is yeah. Weo Slea and she's doing yeah. great for herself. This is someone who I guarantee you Patrick did not know about before this. He he Googled most obscure oh, yeah. Star Wars characters. Yes, yeah, you don't know me. I do know what? you. You love Groot. You love Groot more than any other character oh. in pop culture history. No, I love Weos Leo more than any other character. <laughs> and how come in your office there was so legally, much Groot I legally I legally can't talk about Groot anymore as an employee. <laughs> oh, actually true. Actually true. All right, Patrick, so good to talk to you. I'm glad uh, right, bye, guys. to call us. 
Let's go ahead. Let's go to a Eric Germ, frequent caller. Eric Germ always brings the heat. Eric, let's talk C-level Star Wars characters. Hey, hey, hey. Can you guys hear me? You can. Yes. I don't know if you noticed. Someone just accused Lennon of checking out, and Lennon proceeded to have what I think can be termed her first uh, meltdown, yep. where she yelled, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to actually stick this one to Lennon. Uh, okay. Which, uh, Bibby, I can't believe you brought up uh, Dud Bolt because that was what was in my queue and I did not have a backup. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Uh, oh, so, we, we... <laughs> so we all know the Boonta Eve Classic is the pod racing uh, race that's held on uh, Tatooine every year by the Hutt family. Uh, yeah, we all if, know that. If Anakin Skywalker did not win uh, Lennon, based on mm -hmm. their names alone, who would you want to win? We've got Dud Bolt. We've got Clegg Holdfast, or we've got Odie Mandrell. Oh, I was going to go with Holdfast, but Mandrell for the win, yeah. just yeah, for the country yeah. reference, right? No, that's, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. Barbara, Barbara Mandrell, right? Barbara Mandrell? Yeah, mm. and Lurleen yeah. and the brunette. So now we're talking about the things you love. Tell me about the Mandrell sisters, because I can't say that I'm familiar <laughs> They were, they were a country trio of sisters that was sort of like in the Dolly era. Um, they were fantastic. They were, they were funny. They were, yeah. they had chemistry. They had the voices of angels. They could seamlessly Just, uh, move from gospel to country classics like Tanya Tucker. And you never stopped liking them. Yeah. The Much like was, Odie, Odie Mandrell, the pod racer. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you go. Lennon, would you say they're A, B, C? Where do they rank in the country music world? <laughs> oh, in Ken Burns' country music documentary that I recently didn't watch, I would say that they are probably C. A C level, C. yeah. C yeah. level, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bobby, we got people in the chat. We got some guy claiming Jar Jar Binks is a C. Other people saying Jar Jar's oh, like yeah. A. A. I a, you don't have to like it. If you're putting Tark in A, he's at Tarkin's table in A. I would have said high B. He's like, it's Lando and Tarkin at at that table, and then Jar Jar kind of standing next to that table. Jar Jar's dope, man. I'll say wow. it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You like Jar Jar as a character at this point? Yeah. How do you feel about the conspiracy theories that they were going to reveal him to be a Sith and then backed out? I'm all for it. They they did. They did reveal that. Well, no, 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 no. They re no. Well, they made it his fault that the Sith came to power. Because he, yeah. But they, they're, you know, there's all these things online about yes, him. They, yes, yes. They track the early moves to be like they were clearly building him to become a yeah. Sith. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm all for it, man. That's what Star Wars is about. Let's get, let's get weird. Let's go to June the Fox on the phones. June the Fox, welcome. I've only got about 10 minutes left with Lennon. I'm sure Bobby needs to go soon too. We're all parents. We're all tired. June the Fox, your favorite C-level Star Wars character. Hey guys. Uh, so I want to talk about, since we're kind of on the topic of uh, pod racers, I just want to bring up uh, Ben Quadnaros from The Phantom Menace. Sure. Bobby, you're a fan? Yeah, I like his face. <laughs> a weird face. <laughs> June the Fox. Up. June, yeah, I have to look that up again. June the Fox, can you please spell that? Oh, yeah. There it uh, is. So that's uh, Ben, just like, you know, just regular Ben. And then Quadnaros. Uh, yeah, ben Quadnaros. -E. I. Oh. Yeah. Everybody's dipping way below C, though. I mean, the but fact what that is this from? Like, I don't. Here's the question that I have is like, if it exists in an only animated, like, doesn't it have to be in the movies to be A, B, or C? Like, I'm it's in you. the movie. That's in I'm the movie. That, that is in, in the movie. movie. Which movie? It's in the movies. No, it's the no. It's the menace during the pod no. racing scene. No. You're officially this starting is like to an an, This is like an, <laughs> it's no, like an it's animated in the movie. dude, though. He doesn't look real, though. You know what He's I mean? Like, most character. of these dudes, okay. Well, that was bad CGI, though. Yeah. Uh, no, it was All actually right. okay. I'm sorry I was so rude. He looks Bobby, you defend too much. You've always done this. It's he not looks bad. like a stink bug. <laughs> yes, that I agree with. 
let's let's go to Mary on the phones. People got to stop picking these. How much time did we spend with these fucking pod racers, guys? Like Hi. a solid twenty, a solid race. twenty minutes. Each one is introduced by name with their own flag. Like oh, it's too much. <laughs> it started. You, you watch that movie three times. You know who Ben Quadaneros is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone watching it, Lennon's officially getting a little bit tired of your Fs and Vs. Mary, I hear you laughing. Welcome. Uh, your uncle mixed the music. You say you have a perfect C level character. Who's your I, C level I character? Think I, I think I do. Um, Sindel from the Ewok Adventure. Oh, yeah. Would that be lower than C? I feel like that would Wait, be C, she but she I don't the know. Little... Wait, she. the little blonde? The blonde? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, from the one of the, the girl with the headband? Both. Yeah, yeah. I they have a solid B. Guy too. No, <laughs> Bobby, hold on. I <laughs> a solid B. And There's this no is way why. that's a B. This is why. In my world, <laughs> she grows up to be Captain Phasma. <laughs> I was going to ask is... if you think that she ever tried uh, Ewok meat. We're, I want to be clear. There's those two Ewok movies. You're talking about, I had them on VHS tape. This is someone yes. who only appeared mm -hmm. in the you cannot. I have the DVD. You cannot <laughs> be above a D if you were on Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Take your ear, take your earphone goes, cord out of your mouth. Empire and your Strike mouth. Back. It goes Empire Strikes Back. Both those Ewok movies. They had a little super speedy guy in that, right? <laughs> yeah, they had those blurgs, those little, those little fucking alien guys that just had the tail. They were in the Mandalorian. Lennon, I may there have were two. seen this. I may there have seen this movie. This child, yeah. This child looks like a baby D. Reese. You know the mom <laughs> in ET. <laughs> and yes. Also, she yeah. was in The Howling. Um, Very good. Looks like also like Olivia Newton-John. Like whoever designed the costumes was obsessed with Olivia Newton-John. They were like, I need to <laughs> design a human, right? The two Ewok movies are. I think that I found them very unsettling. I found those movies very, very unsettling as a kid. Very unsettling. They're a darker I, tone. I just watched them recently, and I rank them above uh, Attack Clones, honestly. Wow. See? Yeah. I might have to rewatch those. <laughs> Mary, thank you as always for the great call. Let's Absolutely. go to Forrest. Let's go to Forrest, the keeper of the Battle Dome. Welcome back, Forrest. Good to see you. We're talking C level here. I mean, Mary just reached to like an L level. Well, we're going the kid from the two Ewok movies. This is off the grid. Let's really try to nail a C, Forrest. Hello. Forrest, you there? Forrest. Forrest, where do you put Lobot? Where do I put Lobot? I knew this was going to come up at some point. In my heart, I want him to be you know? a B. My guess I think he's a B. Most people would say guy? he's a C. Loba, I do a fantastic impression of Loba. Oh, and my headphones, yeah, if I turn my headphones like this, it actually, he goes like this, like, he goes like this, ready? Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything. Mm. But in the comics, they explain his backstory. And a lot of people in the chat saying absolute <laughs> C, harp guy saying definition of C. <laughs> mm, that's Ooh. good, then they nailed it. Dot just in the chat, Bobby, said, well, if we're bringing up Loba, where does Nianum go? And this is where we get into a real fucking mess. This is where we get real tangled up in the weeds. Hey, solid. Lobot as a I think Lobot and Nianum are bees. I think they're solid bees, and I think there's no question about that. I'm confident. How did you pronounce it? You pronounced it differently. Nianum? No. Nianum? I always said Nianum. I think it's Nianum. Someone in there saying B+. Plus. Because he's the... the the number, do you know why he's named Nine Numb? Because no. they made the of the creatures where they would make like different statues and George Lucas would just walk through and go like, I like this one, I like this one. And the number on that statue was number nine. So they named it Nine Numb. Wow. wow. And do you know yeah. he? Mike he, Quinn, the, the, guy, the guy who plays it. This is your Mike faithful Quinn. leader? Nine Numb? This is, this is what you have devoted. <laughs> All of this too is the dude that loved you and respected you so much as a narrator that was like, yeah, number nine. And then like, that's his name, guys. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a great story. We just story. cut the Wookiee costumes in half. We don't have enough money. <laughs> what do you love? What, what do you love? <laughs> not, Let's make fun of that. No, that's not the subject of this e-chat or whatever this is. Bobby, <laughs> again, they brought up Loba. They brought up Nian or Nainan. Oh, Nainan. Now... Somebody's asking yeah. about the dam is starting to break. People are asking about Bosque. People are asking about Squidhead, and I don't oh, know what to say. Squidhead is a C. Bosque. Ah, uh, Boss might be A. Boss might be A. If we're putting, In if what you're world? putting Tarkin A, I'm putting Bosque. He doesn't do anything. What do you mean he doesn't do anything? He stands here like, like a, a lizard man, with thick ass calves. Just so does a bounty everybody. hunter. You're saying he's on the same level as Luke Skywalker. You're saying Tarkin is? Yes. So much closer. He's a bounty hunter. He, all he did was stand there. He's one of the coolest people in the world. A guy in the chat named Vampire Kittle said something that's, I think, going to piss you off. He says, Bib before Tune is a C. That's... That's fucking Bib before nonsense. Tune is What's Clearly. the deal with this guy named Clearly Dengar? Oh, Dengar... Dengar. Yeah, he's got burns on his body. Yeah, I'll put, yeah, what's uh, I'll put deal? all the other bounty hunters in B with Tarkin where he belongs. I'm taking this all that all, Tarkin. These are bounty, wow. He's a bounty hunter. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah so he was Dengar, with Boba Fett. He's a bounty hunter. Uh, Vader hired all the bounty hunters to track down Han Solo. Mm -hmm. And I, went, I once read a book about all the bounty hunters. I don't think it's canon anymore, but his thing was he used <laughs> to get in drag races with Han Solo and he got in a crash and burned up his whole body. Burned up his whole body. Oh, he also, God. didn't his wife die on their wedding day? <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, he's a real sad sack. He's a real he sad sack. He was a real sack. terrible he story. He's really unhappy. Yeah. Some terrible thing happened to him. Hard what guys in here saying Zuckus. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zuckus is cool. <laughs> Zuckus is cool. Guys, yeah. just Google it, right? No, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Harp guy's acting fucking nuts saying Boba Fett's a C. Boba what? Fett's an A. Get the oh, fuck out of here. You ruined all your credibility on that Harp guy. Now, Bobby, <laughs> I'm going to throw some names at you because one of the most important aspects of this discussion, the prequel's much maligned. Let's I like talk, them. Let's talk about the Jedi Council, though, because... Jedi Council, fantastic. Mace, yeah. Mace Windu, A or B? Tough call, right? <laughs> Well, see, we have different, you have a different A than I, because I'm putting Dark in B, so I would put Mace Windu B. This is true. You know what? This is the first time I've gone with you on Tarkin. Mace Windu and Tarkin are probably very similar impact. That's what I'm spraying. People are here saying Windu's A, but I think they might both be B pluses. Well, then we have to decide who's A. A to me is the core, is like yes. Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, C-3PO, R2-D2. Chewbacca, um, Vader, Vader. So I'll throw a stormtrooper in there. I'll throw doesn't Java. In there. Doesn't Java the Hut get to be an A? Java's an A. Bobby Java Hutt is a is Bobby. a straight up. But a. like his monkey thing would be a C. No, it would be a B. This. Salacious Crumb would Bobby? be a B. Bobby, you still it's have to be respectful. Initial. You still you can't speak to Lennon. Middle that way. initial is B. <sighs> Salacious B Crumb was the name of the monkey. He's not yes. a monkey. The thing yes, he is. Ears? He's what a is he then? He's a Kowakian monkey <laughs> lizard. <laughs> your name, you laughed so hard, your name just switched to Robert. It just said Robert. Yeah. Okay, but let's, talk. okay, so Mace Windu, Tarkin, maybe they are underachieving A's who land at B plus. They didn't study the night before the test. They came in at the B, they should have gotten A. Where are we putting Kiati Mundi? Where are we putting Plo Kloon? <laughs> Solid C's. C's? Yeah. You think Kiati Mundi is chilling with, with Lando no. and Boss? But here's the tragedy of that Jedi Council. God fucking damn it, did I want them to be B's. Yeah, they could have been. They still can. I'm gonna ask you about okay. Here's where we here's where the cartoons come into play. Cause have we talked about out of the prequels? I had one character that I was slightly obsessed with. Have we talked about this? I don't know. Probably he's a, he's a badass motherfucker by the name of Kit Fisto, and he deserved <laughs> a lot better than he got. It, yeah, he smiled a lot. Yeah. That was like his thing. He looked like he I've always said this. 
I've always said this. The people mm-hmm. on, um, you ever listen to the Blank Check podcast with David and Griffin? Shit. It's great. You Good fucking stuff. love it. He looks like he's having fun being a Jedi. He's mm-hmm. not all moody about it. He's not all conflicted. He doesn't have tons of responsibility. I have fucking superpowers. Let me go in that fucking weird arena and fight these monsters. Yeah. But he lands in at a low C based on the movies. Now, I know the cartoons, cartoon fans are going to yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, very much so. That's where he gets his. That's he's where he really the shines. the same species as one of the people that broke into the jail and freed her brother in Mandalorian, right? No. Yes. Th- are you sure? They're Twi'leks. I think you're talking about Twi'leks there. Oh, 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 yeah. That's okay. like Bib Fortuna. Yeah. Bib Fortuna but this is, is the not most a- famous Twi'leks. That's it. Got that's what they look like, though. They look like this dude. No, Lenny, you're gonna want to yeah. go ahead and giggle. Google a uh, bib, b i b space, Fortuna, f r uh, like four. That's tuna. one of the only ones that is actually fanatical. Yeah. Yes. Now, bib oh, Fortuna. This is, guy, I remember him. That's yeah, a definitive yeah, yeah. C, right? No, you gotta no, put him B, up. B, I remember I would him. Say he's B. a B. He's a B. Yeah, he's a bee. He's got a bunch of lines. He's a translator. But what kind of? I would put he's... him with like a, a Gamorian guard who's a bee. So the Gamorian guards okay. and, and and Bib Fortuna have the same impact as Tarkin. This Tarkin thing is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, well, you got to think it's not. There's levels of B too if you want to get into it. I don't think he's Bleed like the Rancor. Letters. Rancor keeper. Where's Rancor keeper? Oh God, why'd you say it? I was hoping it wouldn't get brought up tonight. Where's Rancor? In, my, Rancor B. Rancor <laughs> Keeper might be C, but I put him at a B. I put him at an A plus. Wait. <sighs> what? Fuck. <laughs> all right, let's go to uh, group two. We've got someone named group two on the phone. I want to see what this is all about. Rancor Keeper. Did we ever get to Forest? Forest is here, but let's go to group two and then we'll go to Forest. Group two, who's your character? Who you want to talk about? Hello. Um, okay. so the only movie I have seen is the Christmas special. That is literally the only one I've seen. Okay. Yes. So I would argue that for me, the like Rachel Ray character who's teaching the cooking show is a C list character. Why are you doing this? (laughs) Why are you doing this to me? I'm just Why saying. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? this it's for me, not for not for like everybody else. But there's certain shit I just can't have in my head, man. There's certain shit I just can't take up more room in my head. All right, let's go to Forest Group Two. Thank you. That was very funny. Very no, no, funny no. call. <laughs> Legitimately very funny. But you know what you did back there. You know what you did back there. All right, let's go to Forest. How are you, Forest? Hello. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Let's talk to me. C-list. Let's nail the C-list, please. So I think mine is a good one to establish who falls outside of that C-list. Okay. And then after this, Emily also has a question for establishing the C-list. But I'm going to talk about Ken Palpatine. Ken Palpatine? Oh. He's also known. Ray's dad? No. But very similar. He's also known as the Jedi Prince because Ken is the son of a Jedi princess named Kendalina. Mm. And Palpatine's secret three-eyed son, Triclops, who isn't to be confused with Trioculus, a three-eyed Imperial moth who pretended to be Palpatine's son. What is this from? Where the fuck did you get this, Forrest? This is from the book, The Lost City of the Jedi which is not canon anymore. And frankly, I don't think Ken should be canon anymore. That's Who terrible. decides what's canon? You guys keep referencing the uh, canon, but like what, who's oh God, in charge of the name. canon, guys? I know his name. Oh, is there like shoot. a pope for the Star Wars people? Yeah, yes, there's a... Uh, God, I'm blanking Keeper of the Holocron. Name. Yeah, what's his name? God damn the it. Keeper of oh, the Holocron. I can see his face. What is his, uh, I can see his face too. God Leland damn it. Chase. I just worked with him. Oh, he's fantastic. <laughs> he's a very nice guy. Leland Chi? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Connor Leland says Chi. It's Leland it. Chi. Yeah. Forrest, you're breaking our brains Wars over here. Second City show. 
Yeah, he's a he's he's literally in charge of keeping all of the continuity in Star Wars in order. And but how so do he decides that a book is no longer canon? There was a well whole when thing. when when Disney when Disney bought Star Wars from George Lucas, they okay. they took all the pre existing books and all that stuff and just said, "This nope. is not." This We're is not part of the story comes. anymore. We're starting a new thing, kind of and, thing. And some wow. of some of I think a lot of fans would look at the bulk of that and go, "All right." There's a couple characters though. A lot of stuff is coming back in too. Bobby, here's the thing. Ooh, this is oh, a tough one. A, hey, Grand a Admiral, a child coming. <laughs> oh, how adorable! Hello, and a cat. <laughs> Grand Admiral yeah, Thrawn. Hey. Bobby, Grand Admiral Thrawn. What do we do about Dope. Grand Admiral Thrawn? Okay, so, uh, maybe I would say he's a B character, but an A in my in my book. He ha uh, he's I mean Great character. Best, best part of that no longer canon stuff by far. But it's coming back in. It is. I've heard this. Where yeah, is he coming he, back? He was just in a bunch of the cartoons. Uh oh, so wasn't he's it? canon again. Yeah, Rebels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rebels. Someone just yelled Rebels. Is that Emily Pineapple? Yeah. So, and yeah, it is. All right. Emily Pineapple. Take a deep breath. You can't be just yelling. You can't just be yelling. <laughs> I, disagree. I, I disagree. I completely disagree. Now, Forrest uh, mentioned Emily. You have something yes. you'd like to talk about tonight. Oh, yeah. I had a clarifying question for deciding whether or not something is A-list or B-list or C-list. Does... I'd like to Lenin Parham. <laughs> Lenin's God. Lennon's child is here. She has a real life. Aww. Good night, Lennon. I love you. Bobby, feel free to stick around or not stick around as long uh, as you can. I, I got I to gotta run in a minute. I'm, I got to make a pizza. <laughs> Emily, you were saying. <laughs> um, does whether or not the character was named in the movies have a bearing on that no, character's no. status? No, no, not at all? Not. Good no. question, but no, absolutely well, not. Well, that's kind of limiting to people who didn't have access to the other stuff. Don't get mad at me. I didn't make yeah. the rules. George Lewis. <laughs> okay, good night. Thank you, guys. I want to get to another call in while we have you here, Bobby. Let's go to uh, Sandwich Police. Sandwich Police, welcome to the show. You're here with me and Bobby. Lennon realized that she has so many better things to do and just hung up without notice. Sandwich Police, uh, C-level Star Wars character. Talk to me here. Oh, we lost the phones real quick. Hold on. Uh, C-level Star Wars character. Yeah, Sandwich Police, hi. Um, Anakin Skywalker as a kid. <laughs> as a kid, can you do as that? As a kid, no. Can you do that? You can't separate them. Well, I will Jake Lloyd. No, man. I, He's I say Darth full Vader. Egg, full A. <laughs> They're like completely different characters. It was a different actor. Yeah. Why not? I mean, full A. Sandwich police coming at me hard on that one. Um, okay. Let's get one more. Let's get Tesseract. Tesseract, welcome. Tesseract, are you there? Oh, hey. How's it going? Yep. It's good. Okay, cool. It's coming through now. Yeah. What do you got? C-level um, Star Wars characters. I, I got uh, Porkins. Pork? Oh, good question. Yeah. Now, Bobby, I'm going to say, gonna right say now, B. I knew you were going to say B, and I wanted to cut you off because if Lando is a B. I'll say C. Porkins, I'll say C. I'll say C. You're right. You're right. You you're love Porkins, right. though. Yeah, You've been making Porkins right. jokes since maybe the day I met you. Yeah, I still do. I just did. An hour ago. There's a uh, new Porkins in uh, the latest movie because there's another fat guy on the attack of all the Star Destroyers yeah, that gets his, blown up. His name is like another fat joke too. It's like it's like it's his 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 name's like it's not this, but it might as well be. It's like Sergeant Hefty. It's it's, like, it's yeah. like another fat joke. All right, great call, Tesseract. Thank you so much for bringing up Porkins, one of Bobby's favorite things to talk about. Yes, like, Bobby, you. you have time for one more? Yeah, of course. Let's go to uh that pizza's not gonna make itself though. Bastion, the Mel Blank of something. It, it, I can't read the whole thing. Bastion, what's the full name? Bastion's fine. Okay. I'm just trying to respect you. What did I mean what what could it be other than Sub Bastion? 
It's well, it says Bastion, comma Mel Blank of, and that's all I can read. Oh, in the space oh, the provided, end, but it clearly end. goes on. Mel, I, I do a mountain lion impression. <laughs> so you're the Mel Blank of mountain lions. Apparently, you're the Mel yeah. Blank of mountain bl- mountain lion impressions. So let's hear the impression of the mountain lion. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um. Everybody, watch your ears because it is about. Oh no. Okay. Turn down the volume a little bit. It's it's not Ooh. awful. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? <laughs> uh, Thank uh, you for the mountain lion oof. impression. Now, who's your favorite, <laughs> favorite Star, Star Wars, Wars character? character? <laughs> uh, Hey, lemon. I I was <laughs> sorry, guys. I figured you were just gone for the night. No, I Lennon's a big mountain guy. lion fan. This guy's Lennon. over here doing mountain lion impressions. Also, Patrick Cotner joining the show. He's got so hey, many I, fucking opinions. I said, let's get him in on this. Can't wait to hear about mountain lions. What? <laughs> please, can you please do your mountain lion impression again for Lennon and Patrick? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, did you get cut off? <laughs> Great. Now, who's your favorite C-list Star Wars character? <laughs> okay, uh, Harp Guy already brought it up. Uh, the holiday special. Uh, Art Carney plays a traitor named Fawn Dan. Yeah. He comes in with a device, gives it to Itchy. Itchy sits in a chair and watches Diane Carroll. That's who it is. Tony Award winner and Academy Award nominee. Uh, R.I.P. Not Shane Easton. Not the shit on Shane Easton. Oh but, no. Um, and then he has like a. Very real. He has a big jam box that he get. Okay. He's trying to give to Mala, and it's got Starship inside. So I was wondering if Art Carney came to your house on Life Day and gave you a musical <laughs> present. What late nineteen seventies band? Or a musical artist, would you want to have Queen in a Queen. galaxy far, far away? Queen the original wow. lineup of Leonard Skinner. Wow. Okay, Connor, diving in. I'm gonna say the again. banana, the banana splits. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say Ambrosia. Ambrosia, great. Thank you so much for the wonderful call. Let's go to Susie June. Susie June, welcome to the show. Who's your favorite C list? character you're here with uh me and patrick and bobby and Lennon. don't forget everybody friday night nick nanny and mary Hulahan are doing a live reading on this twitch stream of their sopranos that they wrote it's not an episode david chase wrote they wrote it okay Susie june talk to us uh hi i would like to ask about the c-list character that's been on my mind um everyone knows boba fett <laughs> i would like to point attention towards Boba Fett's accountant, Boba Clot. <laughs> that can't be, is that real? That can't be real. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's not real. Oh, you made but imagine that real. it is. But wait, where's Django? I was just going to say, we've now opened the it's, fucking Django can. Django. Worms. You Django. really, you, I'll say this, you fucked me up when you're like, if Lando's a B, then Porkins can't be a B, and it's making me rethink a lot. Exactly. I think Django might be B, though. I think he might be B, he might be B, not C. Just for larger implications, he's a B. Django is a C. Oh, Gethard, I think, I think, I see what you mean, but I think you're wrong. I see what you mean, but I think you're wrong. That's that's <laughs> fine. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. This is the we're, Johnny we're, Depp we're, movie we're now talking about. No, Django no, no. Unchained, <laughs> Unchained, or whatever. Yes, the famous Johnny Depp movie, Django Unchained. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Johnny Depp vehicle. Yeah. Pirates of Django. the Django Unchained. Pirates of the Django Unchained. <laughs> Django, fuck. Yeah. Django's Django has a lot of things that pay off in the larger scheme of things. I don't know who Django is. Django, Django is also all, all the clones. He's, yeah, no Django, no clones, no clones, yeah. no stormtroopers. But who yeah. gave a fuck? They're, even they're ignoring Django at this point. 
No. Does fucking John Boyanga look like a clone of Django? No. They're no, but no, no, no. But but at, by that point, they he's were first not, order. Like, yeah, they're not even using clones anymore. By New Hope. Yeah, first Connor, order wasn't Connor. Clones. I'm gonna say you this one time. You asked. I, know. <laughs> I told him to send you the link, but I'm gonna say this one time. I don't love your tone. I'm say that. <laughs> I haven't seen people in weeks, Gethard. I know you're all empty. none of us. None of us have, buddy. This is why these things That's, always no. go longer than they're supposed to. Because people are like, "Oh, you have access to the outside world." Speaking of which, let's go to PC Kelly Gaming. Tell me about your favorite C lister, PC Kelly Gaming. All right, so you getting no size noodles? I, we did. We talked about size noodles before. I, I, we had a little bit of a debate. Bobby says original trilogy size noodles is a C. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. B? Because like, I think he's size think noodles Ma is definitely a C. Max Rebo B size noodles. Is Max cool Rebo still a B? If but, hold on though, because we gotta stop the fucking madness, Bobby. Again, you don't understand how wide and vast the B is and how important it is to understand the difference. You can say Lando's a B plus, but Rebo can be a B minus. Yeah, how but, his, but his nose could be an A minus. <laughs> and his Sci musical Sci skills. Sci also does, Sci Snoodles also does a lot more than Max Rebo in that movie. Lennon, you look mad. I'm just thinking of it's harder to be judgy of Patrick. Because I don't know him as well. It's so much easier to be judged. If you got to know him for five minutes, <laughs> you know you'd I... have no qualms judging him. It's true. I, I mean, know. I know I him, but like, I don't know those... him like I know you guys. Like, yeah. yeah. She could really that. belt that. She could really belt that song, man. Yes. Sex noodles does have pipes. Yeah, nobody's arguing with that. Thank you for bringing yeah. me back to the top. I like the original song a little bit better. Size Noodles is a woman? Sai yeah. Noodles is a woman. She's. You'd actually, I would actually woman. say, uh, here's a nice topic, Bobby. Maybe out of anyone in the Star Wars universe, Sai Noodles has the most in common with Lennon Parm. <laughs> true or false? I'm going to say true. Careful, guys, because I'm looking at a photo. He's a real stamp in Clone Wars. Loves putting on a show. Mm -hmm. Loves putting on a show. And sing like a motherfucker. Yeah. Total stage confidence, total fearlessness, never apologizes for yeah. putting on that show. Ever. Those got, are nice got blow, got blown saying. up. <laughs> they named the band the Max Rebo band, but everybody remembers Cy fucking yeah. She She sang that one last beautiful song, and then they blowed her up. <laughs> mm -hmm, you get the classic mm -hmm. line. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, we got Oh, let's talk names. Ula. 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 Oh, shit, wait, is that the other Twi'lek? Yeah. yeah, the dancing girl. If anyone in any world says Ula is anything but a C, and Ula, I a low I think C. Ula's a C, low C. Yeah, I agree. Not a low C. I go uh, solid C. Solid C. Ula and Bobby, the rancor keeper, and Ula. <laughs> solid C. Are the solid exact C. Same solid C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I we agree. got a we got a caller whose name is just Space. Let's talk to Space. <laughs> Spacey guy, unmute yourself. Space, unmute that microphone because I really need to know. People are getting mad about this. People are saying, finally, you brought up Ula. Yes, we to answer Harp Guy, we've already talked about the Cantina band. We've already talked about Droopy McCool. Is Droopy McCool a D? He might be a Q. Wow. Wow. Someone's asking about Elo Asti. Oh, Elo Asti is the one that's oh, inspired by the oh, Beastie Boys, right? Yeah, but I also heard that it's a J.J. Abrams reference because if you say it, it's L-O-S-T, like lost. Uh, space, who you got for us? Uh, well, honestly, I didn't think you would call me out. Uh, last week, uh, I was here and you were like, we can talk to space or we can talk to this other cool ass person and you pick the other cool ass person mm. but you're here yeah. now anyway. so make anyways i want a moment I, i'm not i'm not being serious all right you, you really um, you just really, I really want to plug him i really What's want that? to plug i really want to plug captain solok and everyone needs to watch that episode 
So I want to say Captain Solok. Captain Solok. I can't say I'm familiar. I don't yeah. know who that is. Um, Patrick it's like, know Captain Solok? like they went to this academy together, and then he invites him one crew to play baseball with the other crew, and it's just a really good episode. Episode of what show? This is Star Trek. That's this is Star Trek. O L O K. This is here. This is Star Trek. He's Vulcan. He's Vulcan. That's not okay. Space. I've already. This is why I didn't pick you last week, and this is why I will never pick you again. Space. Space. (laughs) Call me every Tuesday at six p.m. and we'll we'll chat. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Let's go ahead to uh, Borp. We got Borp Papa. Who? (laughs) Who? Who? Who do we got? Stop, Poppy. Who we got? Borpy? It's Borpy. Borpy. Borpy's here? Yeah. (laughs) Say it again. We got Borp. I'm Borp. We got Borp (laughs) on the line. What up, Borp? Where is Wicket? Where is Wicket? Uh, B. Yeah. Wicket's the main Ewok, Lennon. Okay, great. All right, Borp, what you got for us? <laughs> uh, George R. Binks. George Wait. R. Binks. George R.'s father? That is the father of George Jar Binks. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh. That's not real. That can't that be real. real. Look it up. It is on the Wikipedia. Uh, mm-hmm. George I R. put Binks. that. I put that solid A in between Luke and Vader. He did try to Indiana drown Binks. Jar Jar Binks. He was part he of was the 2004 baby. comics, and then those are no longer canon. But they were at one point. There really and is a George R. Binks. That's now, the greatest how, thing I've ever heard. How are you coming in here and trying to claim that's a C level? The bullet, it said he got shot and a bullet grazed his skull <laughs> as he lies there. He reminiscences of his love, Shibla. He tried <laughs> to <laughs> shoot himself because of how ashamed he was of Jar Jar. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that's so she, terrible. Jar-Jar. He's the worst character in the history of Star Wars. George R. Binks? Well, maybe the, I don't know, maybe the Benicio Del Toro character. That was oh, weird. Oh, interesting. I kind of liked it. You didn't like why it? Did, why didn't you like it? You love everything. Yeah, that character bugged me a little bit. Is it because of the way he spoke? Well, he's always got to do something. I think he's an amazing actor. He's always got to throw a little stank, a little sauce on it. Yeah, a little you just don't like Toro stank. He's got a he's got to sprinkle a little Del Toro on there. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm, uh, tasty. But I just didn't. I I just don't like a character that like essentially comes into the movie and is like, "Hey, fuck everything." And by the way, I'm gonna screw you over and never come back. And then you're like, "Oh, well." Uh, I thought it they were gonna pay that I, off. I thought it was uh, gonna be him. I thought he was coming back. Yeah, it should have been Lando. I gotta say, and everybody gets fucked. That's in my it. one little thing. This is the type of thing that makes me not like The Last Jedi, that there's characters like that that are just like, fuck you, I'm cynical, I'm out. I was I was upset by it, but now I, like I love it. the whole thing. And now I like them all. They're all nonsense. It's all great. I like it, but I like Rise of Skywalker better, and that drives people nuts. Drives yeah, people I get nuts. it. You're allowed to have your opinions. Let's go to uh, oh, Sam J. Hodge. Sam J. Hodge, my old buddy. Welcome back, Sam J. Sammy there. Hey, 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 what's going on? Um, so I've got, um, I don't really have many opinions on this, but I have a buddy of mine who I've summoned from the dead. I'd like to get him out. Um, hey, can... <laughs> hey, hello, it's me, Don Pardo. How are oh. you today, Bobby? This That's didn't terrible. Go well, Sam, Sam yeah. this didn't go great. <laughs> <laughs> I love you to death, Sam, no. but that didn't go over well. Yeah. He was a nice man. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so, do you, would you like to talk about the extended universe of uh, Cam Nail? Cam Nail? Cam Nail. 
you have to stop doing this dumb part up. You have to. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, who is this character? <laughs> oh, you're done. Done. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Cam Nail, guys. You don't know what that is? No, what is that? Oh, that's the second layer of the Tith Sars hole. <laughs> that's where, that's where um, Deline Doe's went to save uh, Jam Nose Biscuits. When you say things like that, it makes me feel a little dumb about investing so much of my emotions in this franchise. <laughs> But there was a, oh, there's more, there's more. Hello, good night. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might Hi. be my out, guys. I might yeah, need to leave now. I thought I you think were I gotta a go while ago. Now. Bobby's got to cook a pizza. Lenny's yeah, got to go care always. for her beautiful children. <laughs> it was so nice to see you. Thank you guys. So I love you guys. Just, love you. Thanks Thank for talking. You for being that was here. fun. <laughs> love you, dirty baby. Filthy baby, my favorite. Lenny, my favorite. You guys. Thank you for doing this. It was like the old days, and now it's just going to be me and Patrick Cotter talking about Star Wars. Good talking to you, oh, Patrick. Good seeing you. Fun. Good seeing you, Bobby. Thank you, guys. Boss Stay Nass. Good. Bobby, before Bye. we go, Boss Nass. <laughs> Boss Nass. Wait, hold on. I want to get ready to go. Solid A+. Plus. Bye. Oh, God damn you. Gotcha. Patrick, I grabbed something. Did you Have you seen what I bought, what I spent too much money on? Is that an animation cell from the original holiday special? Yeah. Yeah, it is. How much you got to pay for a cell? It was like two fifty or something. Okay, so wait. I just saw that. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you were gone. Well, I heard, you that? I heard him say that. I heard him say that, and I was like, "That's pretty sweet." Look at it. Isn't that fun? That's pretty sweet. You want to see something crazy? Yeah, yeah, I do. You know, you I were do. gone. You were gone. Yeah. This is this is the helmet that Adam Driver wore in the and in the Matt the Radar Technician sketch, and he signed it. That's pretty great. You know yeah. you're always gonna one up me. <laughs> I I have I, I don't even want to start I don't even want to start going around my house right now. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Okay, bye for bye. real. Bye. All right. It's just me and you, Patrick. Yeah. Look at that. Let's keep the calls going. We got more callers in the queue. Let's go to Allie. Allie, fantastic caller. Welcome back to the show. Hey, Allie. Allie, you're there. Hey, guys. How are you? What's happening? Good. You're here How's with so me and Patrick Cotner. Um, hey, Allie. I would say Bobby and Lennon were the A's of this show. I'm I was just going to say, you stuck me with, well, you're an A, but you stuck me with B and Patrick Cotner. Like, I think I'm a B. I think I'm Lando B and Connor. I'm Max Rebo. No, I think is you're that? a Wedge Antilles. Is Wedge Antilles still an A? If Lando's a B? But I would, Lando's oh. got to be an A. Surely Lando's an Lando's A. An he a. had his I think own Lando's movie. An a. Like... Lando's an A. Lando's, Lando's an, a. an A. Wedge is middle to low B. Wedge is an A. He's the only person who flew I know. in and survived I know. I know. both I agree. Death Star runs. Like that's then, but by that logic, Django should be an A. It's tough because how do you balance the importance of a character's impact on the story versus how much the character sucks? This yes. is the Django conundrum. <laughs> yes. All right. Allie, what do you got? I'm gonna go being Irish. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with the caretakers from Luke Skywalker's island. Love them. Wow. The weird fish people. The fish nuns. All, the fish nuns getting all pissy with Ren. Also, Very I wanted to hate them. I wanted to hate them. You know, I wanted to hate that whole thing. Like they did destroy pretty much a national monument to make that, and like kill loads of birds. But when no. I saw those fish nuns, I was so on board. You know, <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Now, okay. Now here's something I'll put out there that I wonder how you feel, Connor. Mm -hmm. Wherever we put the fish nuns, <laughs> that's the exact same level as those crystal dogs. True or false? Fish nuns more important or less important than the crystal dogs? I would say crystal dogs more important. Crystal dogs are cooler, but the fish nuns... I disagree on that. I disagree on that. Hardcore. I wish the crystal dogs spoke. There was a moment where I thought they were going to speak, and then they didn't, and it made me realize yeah. that the Star Wars universe has always been 
very speciesist because I can't think of one four-legged character who speaks. And if we're really in a galaxy where everyone has a say, somewhere there would be a four-legged creature that can speak. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Now we are- count, Wait, wait, here we go. Do you count Sebulba as having four legs? He walks on his hands. Does General that mean There's an argument for General Grievous as well. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Probably my General Grievous drives me nuts. Nails on a chalkboard to me. Great call. Where's though. General Grievous? The fish uh, nuns, fish nuns, and the crystal dogs are D. Yeah, probably yeah. Grievous. Oh, I would put Grievous in a C. I he's, think he's probably a solid C, and I'm bumping him to low C because of how annoying I find him. People in here saying over and over again, Grievous is a B. Oh, someone just brought up a character that. Yeah. Because if Grand Marf Tarkin's a B, Grand yeah. Marf Tarkin's a B, where the fuck you putting Watto? <laughs> Watto's low B. Low B. He's in I'm two not... movies. He's in two movies. Shaking a big part, big part in the overall story. Big part in the first movie too. Very memorable. I can hear his voice arguably, in my head. Arguably, causes Anakin to go to the dark side. Hangs on to his mom. His mom, his mom dies. Where here's a sad thing. Shmi Skywalker, C or D? <laughs> Anakin's mom, C or D? Not B. No, not B. Maybe high C. High C for me delicious drink from my childhood as well the problem wait what was your what was your uh like what was the bar setting for c what was your like this is a c. this is the i've been thinking of this and yeah when bobby was still online who are the threshold characters where does a cross to b where does b cross to c i think lando is low a so then you put wedge high b high b See, I think Wedge is the, he's the last A. Wedge is to me the lowest A. But he's got Let, like four do, lines in those movies. Lando, complete turning point of the whole series in the middle I don't, film. I don't think you can count Wedge as an free, A. Free, in the new let role, me finish this, because you're trying to fucking gloss over something you don't like right here. I know, I know. Lando, Empire. Yeah. betrayal find out he used to own the millennium falcon yeah redemption then helps free Han from java's palace yeah then flies the millennium falcon against the second death star like this is i'm saying he's an a i'm saying solid a you're saying he's the threshold how is this even a questionable a fuck how man. many people how many people can fit into your a category Dave, can you just jump on the video here? We need more white dudes. What this needs is more white dudes. <laughs> How many people are in your A? You got Lando as an A. This is insane. Yeah. Where do you put Wedge? B plus. Thank you. B plus. Who's the threshold character from A to B? Is there anyone between Lando and Wedge? Or is the Lando to Wedge gap the well, definitive A to B jump? I, we're also not talking about- Good question. Who, Patrick? We're not talking about prequels, and we're not talking. We're only really concentrating on original trilogy. New Gunroy. No. Where is he? He's B. He's, is he B, he's got to be B plus, right? That's the guy who ran the racist trade organization. Yeah. Yes. He's a major B. plot point. He's yeah. not a B plus. Are you? I think out he's of your a B. Mind? I think he's a B. Okay. I'll concede B. Yeah. But yes, between... I think also I'll say this also. I think Dave and I have a. I might be wrong don't get I'm ageist different... here do not get ageist i'm not me. i'm not i think we have a different take on the prequels than you do how so I, dave do you where do you fall on prequels uh i don't like them <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> i thought you were i thought you were better on them than that fuck. no they're what? I mean, what's they're the matter fuck. hang on what's the matter fuck. 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 what's the matter Someone just brought up Count Dooku, and now I don't even know what the fuck to no, say. Dooku, Dooku B plus. Dave, 
Dooku. If you, you're saying Wedge is the same as Count Dooku, yes, I, and you don't I, have to like it, but the amount of yeah. like importance to yeah. the world, you guys are Dooku. thinking so, and this is so on brand for both of you. You're thinking so hey, lizard don't get brained. Don't get ages. It's, no, you're thinking so. I feel like, so you're, about to be ages. I feel like logically, you're, about to be. you're thinking so oh, logically, no. and there's no emotional attachment to Wedge for you, and that's a problem to me. Dooku the has so much more screen time. And I would say, uh, uh, maybe not overall important in it, but he does more than Wedge does in those movies. Wedge survived both Porkins. Death Star runs. Yeah, no. I'm and sorry, flew in the Battle of Hoth. Porkins Shows is a C. Fucking that, respect. It's not even close. Porkins is C, solid C territory, uh, and Wedge is at least a B plus. Yeah. And I, I heard maybe there's the a chat is betraying me. All these people saying Dooku is as good as Wedge. Dooku, Dooku is, is the main bad guy like for a full you don't movie. Like, yeah, and you don't like the animation stuff as much or you haven't given it a shot as much. He's in a lot of the animation. He's in a lot of Clone Wars. That's true. I mean, I, I do have a very, very major information yeah. gap in relation yeah. to the animations. Let's go to the blood of the something. I want to hear what the full name is. I can't read the full name on the phones. We've only got a few people left on the phones and then we can wrap this up astoundingly and this is no offense to you guys but i think we'd all agree bobby and lennon have gone and there's still 116 people watching this which is kind of amazing shocking okay it's the blood of the great what now hello hey what's up blood hi great to see you again um i'm gonna say my favorite c um excuse me c class or grade c whatever character would probably be Zuckus. This is a I very interesting choice. Listen, Zuckus rocks, but Zuckus he is does. low end on bounty hunters. Yeah. It's like if... But he's like a bug, and that that's cool. Bugs are cool. It's real cool. It's real cool. Don't get it. No one no one's out here trying to say that Zuckus is the cool. Zuckus is very cool. No one's out here. We're not crazy people. We're just trying to rank them. Again, where do you put Zuckus? D. Yeah, he's D. D. He's D. I had to look him up. He's he's D. You had to look him up, but you have an action figure? Yeah. I just showed it. Oh, man. Look at this. It's IG-88, Dengar, Boss. Bees. Bees. All bees. Yeah, I'm doing all bees too. There. Cs. There's no, you bees. know their names. You know their names, and you don't have to be like a huge fan. Dave going, going Okay, everyone in the chat is about to go nuts because they're about Boskin to see. Dengar? Boskin they're Dengar. literally about to see. Okay, everyone in the chat, if you're focused up right now, type VV4. I need to know that people are focused up. VV4. Because you're about to witness a very sad moment, which is where the entire CGP project comes to an end. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look Dave in the Because of eye. Dengar? I'm going to look because Dave in the Dengar? eye and say, you're acting like a fucking insane person. <laughs> Dengar is a B and Wedge yeah. is a B. B Simon plus. B. Wedge is a B plus. Wedge is B plus. Dengar, is B give, plus. give Dengar B minus. We have to allow for pluses and minuses. Give Dengar B, B minus. Because B is huge. Dengar B minus? I don't think so. I think solid B. He's one of the Ooh. better known bounty hunters. These you know, non-speaking so, characters. Yeah, sure. But no, they're in Clone Wars. Simon Pegg plays Dengar they're in Clone Wars. They're C's. They're C's. Maybe B minus, maybe, but I can't. I think B minus. I'll give Dengar. Dengar. Yeah, Dengar rocks. Dengar's in Rise of Skywalker. Do you know that? I need the people you know that? in the chat to get my Your back. Your favorite movie. Where is he? Where is he in the Rise He's of Skywalker? He's in the freaking bar when they go see Babu. Babu Frick. You love Babu. Dengar's in there? Yeah. Babu Frick. Yeah, that rocks. That rocks. Yeah, that rocks. Babu that Frick's rocks. the best. Babu Frick's wait, wait. the best. Look, hey, Dave, everyone, yeah. look up Dengar's deal in Rise of Skywalker because it's great. I got, got Kendall. Much- I got Kendall as Keener saying Wedge is a B minus. Mm, no. I don't know about that, Kendall. Just Babu rude, is an A plus. Yeah. Babu, it's like it's Luke Skywalker, it's Leia, it's Han Solo, it's Babu Frick, it's Darth Vader, it's C3PO, it's Babu Frick, it's R2-D2, it's Landu, it's Babu Frick, basically. R2-D2 is B? Is that what you just said? R2-D2 no. is an A. 
Oh, I thought you just, just said like Babu that. Frick. I was, very I was real confused. Oh, just no, like I'm Babu. just saying like just like oh. Babu Frick. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Babu Frick is a revelation and a joy. Sure. Okay, we've got a few people on the phones. It looks like some of them, some of them sitting there for a while. Uh, some of them, I think, are just still sitting on, even though they've already been on. Uh, let's go to John Boy. Has John Boy been on yet? John Boyega. John Boy. Hey, what the no. fuck is this? You're texting me Rothgar Deng? Yeah, I'm look looking at Rothgar look Deng at right it. now. What the Roth. fuck is Rothgar You love this movie. Deng. And Dengar is in it. Rise of Skywalker. Who the fuck is Rothgar Deng? I might, can, can, I, can I try a screen share real quick? Oh. Or do you think yeah. it's going to... Yeah, you you know, might break it. If you crash the whole thing sharing Rothgar Deng, that is the end <laughs> of this. We do not come back. If it's, if it's really almost midnight and we've been doing this for close to two hours and then you crash it because of Rothgar Deng. Who's this Deng. guy? It's Dengar. Brilliant bounty hunter. But he had too many plastic surgeries and replacement body parts that he's turned into this other thing now. This is not Dengar. It's Hold Deng on. Dave, Dave, can you zoom out so I can read this description? Read the bio. Rothgar Dang possibly operating on alias with Corellian Bounty. Okay, that matches up. Sort of old and experienced, that matches up. In an attempt to live and work forever, he subjects himself to cybernetic replacement straight to Blackmore. Look at his chest plate. It's the same thing as Dengar. Hold on. Stop. Dang's name back on armor resemble that of Bounty Hunter Dengar. Okay, Patrick, you might have a fucking point. It, just, it says no explicit connection was made. They just look similar. Mm, come on. They might have the same armorist. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean shit. Is, Dave, read between dead. the lines. Dave, dead. why do you have to be such a man of logic about this? Oh my god, Dave, you idiot. I just I just don't want you guys coming in here and just saying things as facts when we don't know. Okay. You're okay. Gonna speculate. You're gonna speculate, that's fine. That's one thing. Okay. You know what? Can we get out of this, please? <laughs> and Bryson, can you just send the Zoom link to some random person on Discord? <laughs> just pick some random person who we know is like a reliable. I love story. this. Give me give me a minute. But by all means, keep talking. And just someone we know is not a uh, total what happened to John Boy? Wild card. John I Boy's on the line. Him. John Boy? Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's, what's going up, on? John Boy? Not much. How you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, so I've got... Um, it was kind of between a few of them. Um, mm -hmm. And I have one that that could be like a good conversation piece, like is it B or C? And then I have one that's just stupid. Uh, okay. Whichever one you guys. Okay. Cool. I love them both. Okay, so um, the the one that is maybe like a half-assed good discussion is Dak. Great. A good one. Great. I wish Bobby was still here for this. Dak was yeah. uh, Luke's Luke's uh, wingman, right? His says uh, co-pilot in the Battle of Hoth, and he died. Yeah, it was his buddy, and he was super confident. He was. He feels like he could take on the whole world. He doesn't do much, but his death is emotional. Yeah. And we're now being joined by who is this person, Bryson? Why'd you pick another white guy? <laughs> Listen, I didn't pick just any white guy. I picked an Australian, and I picked Sam hey, from is Australia. That Sam? Hey, Sam, that's hey. what you look like. Oh, wait, you skyped into Sandwich Night, right? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, nice how's it going? It's good. We're out here trying to decide if Dak is a B or a C. Now, because here's the thing, Patrick. Because here's good the thing question. about Patrick Connor. Connor, you try to have it both ways all the time. Yeah, no, you're right. You're out here and you go, this person appeared in four movies. That makes them an A. And now Dak only appeared in one, to my knowledge. Who did I say, who'd I say that for? Me and Num. I didn't say A, I said B. You guys were trying to say C. No, I never, I would, no, me I don't and know who the B. fuck said that, but I would never say anything but B for Nia Num. And he All got right. done dirty. The resistance did him dirty. He was there the whole time. Why the fuck I is agree. Oscar Isaac's character leading the charge when you got a man of the experience and stature of me and them. Bryson, let's go ahead and add one or two other just random people who happen to be watching this right now. You know he's in the new ride, right? No. He's in the new ride. He's like a big part of the new ride. I didn't get to go on it. 
I can't be waking up at four in the morning to go to Disney World when I have a son. I get it. All Someone right. brought something up. Oh. Okay, wait. No, oh, oh, hold on though, because uh, because uh, are you still on the phone? Where yeah. Yeah, you said yeah. you had another one. You said you had another one. Oh yeah. Um, Yaddle. Yaddle is Yaddle. of course the non-speaking female Yoda, the only other proof of his species that exists. Yaddle great one i mean as a historical footnote quite important but we can't say that there's been any impact here i don't even think this qualifies no. as a c oh, I, wow. think Dak is I mean we're we've we're in a world of like baby yoda and Ooh, and everybody Yoda's. wants to know more everybody wants to know more about this species and stuff and yaddle is i forgot about yaddle until i saw a picture of her yaddle? um and was like oh yeah there's a yoda with hair Okay, Yaddle Patrick, top. where do you go as far as Yaddle goes? I think Yaddle's a D until Mandalorian season two comes out. Dave? Yeah. <laughs> and then Yaddle I comes think, back, yeah. I think it's an emotional thing to want to put her any higher than a D, but she's got to be D. Sam, like, where are we at on Yaddle? Also, what time is it where you are? Uh, it's... <laughs> Sorry, Bryson, it's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> how do you feel about Yaddle? Also, you look like a ghost. Uh, I'm unaware of Yaddle. I haven't seen the films or the show, but I've put a lot of hundreds of hours <laughs> into Knights Bryson. of the Old Republic. Oh, beautiful! Wow, uh, Bryson, I'm serious. Let's add someone else from the Discord. Just randomly pick someone. Oh, else. you were Please you were saying on the Zoom? Okay, I have a bunch hey, of I'm people. Andrew. On the I'm on the call as well on the audio. Hey, Andrew. You just have everybody on the oh. phone line at once. That's not what I want. That's what you I thought you said. But Andrew. you have a bunch of people on the phone right now. I want Thanks. more people on Zoom as well. I want more people on Zoom as well. Just let's pack I, it out. There's still I was gonna people, say eight people watching. Yes, Andrew, hello. Sorry, I was I was in the queue to say Dak. I'm glad that got brought up. Um another one that I just come up with in the last couple minutes is Sabe. Has Sabe been said? Ooh, that's uh, that's uh Kira Knightley's character who pretends to be Padme in episode one. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, what a is Padme N A? First of all, yes. is she has yes. she has she's Luke and Leia's mom. Yeah, I've heard of her. So that's Patrick, probably an just, A. I know, you hate, I know, I know, hate the prequel. I, I want good. someone to immediately make a clip of what Patrick just said. I know so what you're going to play say. it back to him, and he can see himself go. He can see himself go. She's Luke and Leia's mom. He can see it. I want him to see what he just. That's not even. Because we made the argument that Shmi is a D, what did we say? Shmi is a D. <laughs> Shmi is a D. She's Luke and Leia's grandma. <laughs> Padme's a B. I don't think. No. Uh, Ma don't it's the main is character is of the whole B. trilogy of movies. Kira Knightley's fill in low C. I think it's I think it's solid C. I think. I think yeah, solid C. Solid yeah. C. Era Knightley's decoy Padme is a solid C, you guys. Great. Yeah, I feel like glad, that's glad what I nailed C that. is. We got Mary. Mary, welcome to the show. Mary, how you, how you feeling about Padme, A or B? Um, I'd say a B plus, A minus. I wish that they would have given her more. Thank you. Mary, <laughs> as always, the reliable voice of reason in this community. But I'm the ovary <laughs> here, so yeah. If we're not giving it to Padme, it's a lot of white dudes in that A list. Now, I mean, that's George Lucas. That's as you much as George Lucas as Padme. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, now, someone said something in the chat. It's got my head spinning. Somebody out here saying Biggs is more important than Wedge. <laughs> no. Mm, no. Sam, it's how do you feel? I have, haven't heard of either. Okay, Mary, how do you feel? I'm, I'm torn. I don't know. I always get the two confused. I'm not a good Star I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I'm also not the best Star Wars fan. Biggs has got a mustache. Ooh, what is the argument for Biggs? Biggs? Biggs is Luke's friend from home. Else? I do no, like I know who he is. Scene. There's a cutscene between them that's in from like the original one. Um, that I wish they would have in, left in there, but it like drags so much. Yeah. Yes, I've seen that cut scene where they catch up a little bit. That would have pushed Biggs into solid B. Yeah. I think Biggs' only redeeming thing is that he pushes Luke to go join the rebellion. <laughs> that's how you could be like, yeah, it's an important character. So where are you saying is Biggs a B or a C? He like looks up to him. So I'm gonna, say C. I'm gonna say C. 
Somebody says Biggs is an emotional anchor. Who's saying this? Bastion Field. Biggs is an emotional anchor. Wedge is kind of just a guy. Fantastic pilot, though he may be. I have to reiterate this motherfucker survived both Death Star runs. Only character that can say that. Andy, so I'm going to ask all of you to show some fucking respect. F's in the chat for Biggs. Yeah, harp guy saying we need to get a clear definition of what an A is because people seem to be using different criteria. Abs that's been true from the start, <laughs> which to reiterate was two hours ago. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see the guys behind me, the Twisted yeah, Rancor yeah. trio. I believe they are an A. Hey Sam, are they? You, they're in like a bar that you go see, right? Uh, no, it's um, they're in Knights of the Old Republic. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. a box which I think you can see in my beard here. <laughs> and to open it, uh, you need to activate the six members of the Twisted Rancor trio in the correct order. Uh, and that's the only appearance they've ever had, I believe. Okay, okay. Let's go to Tig Naruto. We got Tig Naruto. Welcome to the show. I cannot believe that 100 Tig, you're people on the air? are still watching this. Oh, Patrick, how do you do that? And my computer said I'm. it's not good enough for backgrounds. Hey. Or oh, my picture. Hey, yo. Hey, what's up, Tig Hey, Naruto? yo, what's up? Hey yo, what's going on? Not much. Hey. What's up, Tig? Hey yo, what's I'm just gonna let you say whatever There's... you want, Tig. You don't even have to talk about the topic if you don't like. All right, thank you, Tig. <laughs> thank you so much, Tig. Who is this? Oh, Molly. Molly, hey. welcome. Bryson just like a DJ, just adding people. Molly, who's more important, Biggs or Wedge? Um, I don't know much about that. Are we talking Final Fantasy VII, Biggs or Wedge? I would no, say probably Wedge, but I didn't. Wait, did you Sorry, say Final what? Fantasy VII? Well, yeah, in Final Fantasy VII, there are two, actually two characters named, one is named Biggs and one is named Wedge. That's right. Um, Molly. But I know oh. more. <laughs> Bryson, this whole thing's going I to I know. I know more about well, that Molly, than I do about Star you're Wars. It, I just love like... Molly, just give me Here's one second. Thing. Just give me one second. <laughs> How do I get these backgrounds? Because everybody else has them. And I feel like I'm looking kind of like an asshole without one. Yeah, I don't have one either. Mine doesn't work well. How do I like get one of these nothing? backgrounds? Oh, no. What? Are you on the app? No, I'm on my desk, on my laptop. Is it All right, app? settings. Virtual we are not troubleshooting his computer tonight. Hold on. Everyone, everyone, please be quiet. I'll explain. <laughs> Catherine, go to the bottom of the screen. Yeah. It says mute and stop video on the left. It's fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see mute. I see stop video. Hey, right, press the arrow up under uh, next to stop video. You're, that's going to stop the video. No, it's not. You're right, trying to convince to me to kick <laughs> off my screen. The arrow He's next not. to it. The arrow I just have to say, to I'm going to say something really quick. If Patrick is booting me right now, A, I will not come back. Oh, no. This must continue. Ooh. See, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Sam, you are in charge. Sam, you're running it. Catherine, if you get booted, this is your fault because I'm giving you right directions. Click the up arrow. Yeah. Gathered, okay, before you go, can we talk about Gathered Babies? Choose virtual. Oh, yeah, I have to do the That's voiceover it. on it. That's Choose yeah, virtual yeah. background. <laughs> Computer doesn't meet requirements. I don't know. Oh, if you what just upload a photo, mean? you have to upload a photo. But it says my computer has to be 10.13 or higher, and your processor must be an Intel Core oh. i5 with a quad core or better. What is this you show? Have to stay looking like an asshole. Then. I don't know. <laughs> you put the plus sign and add something there. That's what I did, and I have a bunch like queued up. <laughs> like this WKRP in Cincinnati. Welcome scum thing. Welcome scum. <laughs> God, you're making me look like a dickhead um, yet again. I feel like <laughs> Biggs kind of inspired him to join because he's like, I don't want to be here anymore, and I see what you're doing. Let me just. All right, let's go to Austin TTD, Austin TDT. This thing's really starting to get out of control. I feel like once Molly joined it, edit this whole element of chaos that no one expected. Austin she has TTD. that. 
the chaos oh, bringer. Apparently. Austin TTD, welcome to the show. Who's your favorite Star Wars? Chris, apparently Gethard, not. I get that oh, a lot. Wow. Hang on, this is echoing. Talking about Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. Hold up. Oh my Hello. God. Hello. Yeah, you're on the I phone. Was... Who's your favorite? We're... Hi. Who's okay. This? We're talking right, to Scott. Open. It's not echoing anymore. That's a nice Gascano. Bryson. Gascano is a good one. Who is Gascano. it? I don't even know. Gascano's a pod racer. I think he's got a lot of arms, right? Yeah, he's got like seven <laughs> arms and he's like a twig boy. It's great. Are you on the phone or is this this Tig? Is Tig on the screen now? It's also, yeah, I'm, I, I'm everywhere. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to talk to Austin. Yeah, hey, am I on the Sorry, my, my Twitch was Before not muted. Before you guys get started. Like, go ahead, Austin. Sam, you're in charge. I, I just go wanted to... Uh, control, Sam. When I plug my headphones back in, you better be running it. <laughs> go ahead, Austin. Listen, there's one too many people and you know it. Uh, I just wanted to uh, ask about Gonk Droid, if you all discussed. Um... Come on, I plug in my fucking headphones and you say Gonk Droid. That's a, a solid A. Um, yeah. I don't know how the rest of you feel. Yeah. This is the, the old Republic thing, clearly. Oh, Gonk Droid. Uh, oh, I don't know what Gonk Droid is, but it sounds A. They're the walking boxes. They're the box, they got the two little legs. Yeah. It's like, like these dumb kids. little legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are low C. It sounds like a Star Wars porn parody character, but it's oh, real. Yeah. yeah, low C. Yeah. <laughs> Molly, your opinion on gonk droids? Um, I just have, well, here's the thing about gonk droids is if we're actually going to talk Star Wars, I'm <laughs> going to leave. Oh, no. Um, but I love you guys. And also, Chris, if you could get that voice over to me, that would just be so great, my dude. Yeah, when do you need it by? <laughs> Um, as soon as you can. The date is de technically on Sunday. Everyone's getting us that by then. Um, but if you can't, that's so, yeah, okay. Just go ahead and keep bugging me no, about it. And then keep, please keep bugging me about it. And also, are the other CGP people doing their own voices? Everyone? Okay, yeah, I can run down the list and tell you who is all going to be babies. Yeah, if yeah, you'd yeah, like. Yeah. Um, can you put these people in tiers? A-list, B-list, C-list? Yeah, yeah, we'll put oh, these as CGP. Oh, CGP oh, world. I'm in A. Let's rank them all. I'm in A. Guess what? In the world of Chris Gilder Presents, I'm in A. Yeah, yeah but what would Robbie Hopkins for your rank? What's, what's your overall <laughs> Okay, who's doing their own voices? Who's doing their own voices? I'll do a quiz because I'm getting like 90 DMs from Bryson right now. But <laughs> it's, um, okay. Uh, Robbie Hoffman and... Hey. Sam Taggart and Joe Rumrill, Ra a, a, Rachel Pegram, a. Uh, Christy Cello, Carmen Christopher. A, a. Um, Carmen? We still need Lorelai and we still need Martin Urbano. Those are the only missing ones. So if you have an in Chris Gethard with these people, yeah, I think I might have an in. <laughs> I think I might have an in. Wait, and have you had contact you know, okay. with them or are they just ignoring you? Um, I don't know. I've sent him a message on Instagram, but neither of them are on Instagram. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and text Mark right now. Wow, you're just who's enabling it? her, you know. <laughs> Martin and who else? Lorelai. Lorelai. And Sky Daddy too is also going to be in it. My father. Sky father. <laughs> Can we okay. get back to talking about Thank you so much, now? Molly. Yeah, yeah, let me talk about some Star Wars. Right. Bye, okay. guys. I look Who's forward that to talking that... to you. Where's the Star Wars? <laughs> okay, Bryson, Dono. Bryson, Bryson, Bryson. Yeah. Delete at least four of these people. <laughs> you told me add people. I was adding people. <laughs> I didn't say add literally every person who's still watching. You, you told me to feel add some more people. This is Susie. Them. This is my friend Susie. I feel unwanted Susie, and unappreciated, Susie can Chris. Susie can let's stay. talk Susie about Pisgana. Right, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Gasgano is an A-level character, period. Bryce, can you please tell more? Like a scene I'm thinking C. <laughs> I'm not even involved in the conversation anymore. Okay. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> well, uh, what's wait, your opinion? Wait, wait, wait. Chris, yeah, what's, what's your thoughts? I don't even know who's talking to me right now. Right now, this That's is me, problem. Susie. Chris, this is me, oh, Susie. What's your, what are Susie. your thoughts? On what? There's so much happening. Uh, I don't know, Tig. What'd you say? Who was that guy? See, this is Gascano. Not... Gascano. Gascano. He's not doing this. He's a pod racer. Yeah, this He's is a pod. Like a Look at there he yes. is. You can see him right DFS. now. He's Bryson. an A-level character. Oh, no, this is a D at best. Tig, Bryson, 
Tig, I love you. You're going too hard. You got to go. Goodbye. Bryson, let's take care of this. Goodbye. All right. I'll, I'll leave. Yes, Tig, <laughs> I love you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be mean, but I got to rein in the chaos, and you're really pushing this Gascano thing on me right now. <laughs> and I want everybody else on blast to know. Okay, it looks like Susie. Okay. Now, why is my thing my full name? I know other people that make names. You can edit um, your name. Yeah, you That's what I did. Change. I don't want people to know my last name here. See, I trust you, Mary, more than most. More than. Oh, most. that's unfortunate for you. I probably trust you the most out of anyone who's currently. Up that here. really says a lot about your life, Gethard. Go to Bill Meeks on the phone. We got Bill know. Meeks. You're on going the to the phone. phones. <laughs> Bill Meeks on the phone, please. Him like twice. <laughs> Bill Meeks. Bill, Bill Meeks also has themselves deafened, so they can't even hear us right now. <laughs> Bill Meeks not listening. Can I ask? Hey, I'm, Bill. I'm throwing it to a person who's not even listening. <laughs> Bill might be here. Bill might be here. Bill Meeks, welcome. Bill, Bill Meeks. Is, Bill's not here. Right, Bill, Bill Meeks. Meeks. Wait, is here. Bill Meeks a C lister or a D lister? F. I'm thinking B minus. Okay. Okay, Bryson. How do you know Susie? Susie's performed in some of our open mics and has been one of the members of Planet Scum for a while now. Uh, oh, Susie, Susie's coming in hot. Susie, you're coming in hot right now. <laughs> and you know it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Fair enough. Hi, Jake. Hi. Susie left of her own accord. Everybody's on blast. I'm, I my computer's a, so close to death. I have a C-list character. Okay, C-list <laughs> character have, for a bot. Yes. For um, yes. Elan sells Gabano, the guy who tries oh, to sell Obi-Wan death sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, death hey, what about your favorite cigarettes. character from the diner? <laughs> oh, Dexter Jetster's a there good go. C-lister. Oh, is that in the <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> On Curseant? Uh, no, 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 yeah, he's on the diner, and they have like a real good heart to heart in the diner for like 10 minutes. That's a C. The Death Sticks guy is a D. Thank you so much, Purple Hat. Okay, Harp guy is saying this might be starting to go off the rails a little bit. Oh, might be? Yes, yeah, start. We got 109 people still watching. Okay. Jesus. Bryson? Okay, everybody on the line. I got a lot of love for you all, but I, I think I'm going to just go back to me, Dave, and, and Connor, because I think this joke might be over. I get it. Sam. I'm the worst. Oh, you too. Mary, you're the worst. You know you're not the worst. You're my Hi, favorite Dave. one. Purple hat. Thank Missy you. buddy. <laughs> yeah. Let's shrink it back down. Let's shrink <laughs> it back down. Get nice and intimate. In fact, just, you know what? Dave, you're gone too. Just me and Connor. Just See me ya. and Connor. Oh, just no. me and Connor. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That guy. That was that really was a stressful. Lot. That was really stressful. Okay. Someone for some reason just said Weird Al in Jedi robes and a rat tail. A or Is that B. canon? Saga begins. His song. <laughs> His American Pie song. Oh, right. And he did the Yoda song too. That was really yeah. great. That's uh I think every single person in here has actually already spoken. I don't think we have any phone calls left. Unless are people trying to call twice, Bryson? They very well maybe. We can't do that. It's after midnight. I'm a father. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. I gotta be awake. Is it a Zoom meeting? Yeah. So you can go get nine hours of sleep. <laughs> Eight hours and 45 minutes of sleep. It's been a, it's been like. a rough week. You okay, Patrick? What's going on? I'm doing all right. There's What's a lot up? of sirens, a lot of helicopters, you know? I had to get the fuck out of bring it down. Like, I don't want to bring it down, but... Hey, man, we are both Queens guys. I was in Jackson Heights, you can imagine. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a bummer. Really grim. We're all doing fine, though. We're going to be... I want to thank everyone for watching Planets Come Live. I want to thank my guests, Bobby Moynihan, Anand Parham, Petra Cotner, 
Jersey Dave, Mary, Tig, Susie, Purple Hat, Sam. I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, uh, who's the open mic? Susie. Your friend? Uh, Susie? Susie, I yeah, Susie. said Susie. I think that was it. Molly. Molly. Molly, there you go. Hey guys, follow me on Twitter at Patrick Kotner. P A T. R I follow. C O T N O I R. I endorse that follow. Uh, watch, watch Mary Houlihan and Nick Nanny's uh, Sopranos table read this Friday right here. Table read. Yeah. Patrick, you think our uh, think our borough is going to bounce back anytime soon? I don't know. I hope so. These are our neighbors. These are our friends. Truly, I don't know what the world is like because I've left my house, I think, twice in a month. I fled to the mountains. Yeah. To the town where there's no one. And yeah. I walk around amongst the empty houses and I wonder when life's going to become life again. And my son's first birthday is in two days. Yeah. And I'm so sad his first birthday party is going to have to be on Zoom. Yeah. If I can even figure out Zoom. Bryson, what are the odds that I figure out Zoom by Friday? <laughs> you don't. What are the odds that Bryson sets up this birthday party? I can't have Bryson do that. I already asked it's him. on Friday. I've got Nick Nanny and uh, Mary Houlihan's <laughs> stream. It's busy. It's busy. Oh, God. It'll be okay. We'll all be fine. Will we, though? Because we're here yelling about fucking size snoodles like it matters because we don't have But it does to matter do. because it brought joy to 100 people. Almost 200 when Bobby oh, Lynn were. No offense, no offense. No, I get it. I'm, I don't blame him. I would have left if it was me. I'm a little shocked that it didn't go higher because it was Bobby and Lennon. Fuck. It's a tough time. Someone may have just cracked this code. Okay, what is it? John Gustavorn just said yep. the missing link between Lando and Wedge is Mon Mothma. No. No. Wedge is higher than Mothma. Sexist. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. You. You. Good night, everybody.